Uh... I have some trail mix. Awesome. I have some mix. <laughs> Do you guys have trail mix in your parts of the world? What is I don't it? I think so. What is that? I, mean, trail I think it's just here. nuts and raisins and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's, it's like probably, mixed nuts, like that, cashews, but... almonds, peanuts with some dried no. um, grapes yeah, we, in we there. Don't... Some call them raisins. Yeah, we, um, we have that. It's not called that. I forage that in the called? woods. <laughs> is that something you do off? What's it called? It's yeah. in the woods to forage. Woods nuts. stuff. I go into the woods to forage for nuts and berries. Like every time I they're on the trails. In Jay's off time, he lives a double life as a squirrel just running <laughs> around getting nuts this one's actually really what i was doing minute. wait do you tend to find m&ms on the first. trail yeah oh no they're cherries oh i like spaghetti yeah no the spaghetti's find on trail. spaghetti on the trail <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti is one of my least favorite pastas <laughs> you're walking down a trail you know in the woods there's oh. just some fucking spaghetti bolognese you know like, what hmm. rags oh, yeah, yeah. i kind of agree i prefer uh like the the other types of i like ravioli a lot more than spaghetti yeah ravioli i like um, i like her with the other I like I said with the other yeah. type of pasta, which is like five hundred other ones. <laughs> Pasta's cool. I though, like really. um, Sp spaghetti is the worst type of pasta. I it like is noodles true. though. Spaghetti. And that's kind of like spaghetti. Oh yeah, I love noodles. Yeah, I love noodles. I like bucatini every now and then. Um, is it bene or penne? Uh, which which one is it? Penne. Bean. It's pronounced peen. <laughs> Bd. Beanie peenie. Oh, they, but oh, yeah, just, raviolis, lasagna, mm, yeah, rigatonis, lasagna. and that's love right. tortellinis. So many, of these, great. so many of these sound like you're about and to I... be like tortellini my balls, Lamau. Even like macaronis that are like the big old elbows. I love those. Those are great. Going to Google and just looking up types of pastures, man, the variety in pasta is pretty staggering. <laughs> yeah, like spaghetti is the actual matter. worst. I don't know that. It's all just it's worst. just different shapes. It doesn't really taste that different, does it? I wonder I... if the shapes make a difference in terms of. Well, yeah, because tortellini has foods. stuff in it. It has cheese in yeah, there, and you can put mushrooms in there too. That's true, and that's fucking and great. Ravioli. Uh, I really like and ravioli. Yeah, and you can fry ravioli, and it's delicious. Gives it a crunch mm. on the outside. Mm. Speaking of pasta, do you like you like rigatoni, right? I do, actually. So, how do you feel about bofa? Bofa. Over these nuts. No. Fuck! Well, Why did that did kill it. metal oh, specifically? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was a sick burn, bruh. He's a big fan of Bofa. <laughs> big fan of nuts. He's, he's, he's glad to find yet another Bofa enjoyer. Imagine if you were gay, but just for balls. So we're watching the Book of Boba Fett season finale today, aren't we? No. Oh, okay. No, um, not. We're probably stream about something else. Mandalorian <laughs> oh, season yeah. three finale. Well, the season three. Episode three. <laughs> that, well, uh, the, yeah, to be fair, at this point, part of the premiere. it's the Star Wars variety show finale uh, yeah. for this season. Because they can't think mm -hmm. of what to name this shit anymore. Uh, uh, this is the holiday special for the 21st century. Don't you know what a book is? They have different chapters about different people. Okay. Yes, that is something that books do. They have different chapters with different people, except for the books where the POV is fixed on one character. <laughs> Like in all mediums of entertainment where you can do that. You don't know the what book is stringy. That is such an odd thing for someone to say. Books have different POVs. Yes, yeah, so do like everything. <laughs> like, if you want... <laughs> Do you really think that my problem with this is that it explores multiple points of view and that's it? I just don't ever want that to happen. You know what, yes. though? It was called The Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, like, it is a bit odd when he doesn't show up for like two episodes. For two episodes. Well, yeah. To be fair, he Which does is... show up for 30 seconds. That's a like, third entire show. He's just he not in it. Like, wait, episode, there's only seven episodes, right? Yes. Yeah, this is yeah so end. that's just under a third of the show. He's just not in it. Yeah, like, legitimately. Uh, and it's not even that he's not in it. It has nothing to do with him. Episode five is entirely about Mando. And episode well, six is primarily about Mando as well. We're about to find out if that was actually setting stuff up for the finale or not. I don't think huh. so. I think that that was setting stuff up for uh, Mando. They almost certainly were, but... Hey, maybe. Maybe. We, uh, this one's an hour, isn't it? So it's long compared uh. to the rest of the... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to throw out a clarification immediately. A lot of people in, in our communities have been like, man, the show's so embarrassing. They're all convinced that spice is like human earth spice. We can infer that it's something bad. It's just that the show hasn't told us what it I is. Never, like, we're only joking when we problem. say it's put on food. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the, the as far as we know, it could be, though. Well, it could yeah. be. Maybe and it's spicy I'm takes. Like, I'm actually, like, about oh. to lose my mind because, like, 
the Silk Road, people vied for control over that over the course of centuries to trade things like spice and silk. This, and, this, um, this is the problem. Ceramics. Yeah, this um, could be any any good, any product. Depends on where it is and who's supposed to have control over it. It, and how many it doesn't have to be some quote unquote illegal substance because yeah, I don't even be. believe it's illegal. It, How can it, will it be? be though, what it? It'll, be, it'll be a drug or something. In or... fact, it almost seemed like they were doing that with water in the show, maybe. Like, there was going to be some wars over water, which makes complete sense. Sure, you can do that Not if you want. Yeah. Water doesn't have to be bad for you. No, they be wouldn't do that. Over. It would make sense. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I just wanted to make sure everyone understands. We don't, like not understand what spice could be it's just we've been waiting for them to tell us what it is and why trading it is bad i think That's you all. could describe you could say the same thing for much of the show who are the syndicate what are their objectives and why should i not like them yeah because other than rushing it in right at the end of them blowing up that bar the show says there's violence now and things are kind of things are worse turbulent now. because of the syndicate, which is I don't know how to describe that other than yeah, that's what happens when there's a power vacuum. Yeah, we were watching a, a crime boss show about a, a crime lord. Mercenary. So that's really interesting. I was yeah. actually going to bring this up, right? So the first thing I wanted to bring up is because a lot of people have said with Clone Wars that you learn that spice is as bad as meth. It basically like ruins people's lives. It causes like horrible things for societies and cultures that it's around okay. and being traded with. You know, it's worth so much that it attracts a lot of crime. And then I was going to be like, oh. Oh, crime. The thing he's the boss of. <laughs> yeah, the thing he's yeah, supposed well, to said, I am a crime lord. I'm the crime lord. He's supposed to pay me. So like, he's, he's just a, a guy in a big house. From what I understand, he's like a... I, he's I don't, a vague boss. He's a vague I don't know what he does. What do you do? He doesn't do anything. He just he sits around, I guess, people, and has random problems he, with he certain people. He accepts tributes from people that are totally legitimate. Shut up. He lets people assassinate him and then he hires them when they fail. Well, yeah, plot because armor. we've mentioned this before, but if you are a crime boss, what are your rackets like? Like, what is your business? Do you do protection? Do you do trade of any goods? What do you do other than sit in Boba's palace and then get money from people for nothing? The other thing to be brought up was that um, we didn't really talk a lot about it on the actual video. We've talked about it on streams and stuff, so it's worth putting in here. Uh, Mark Hamill, this rather Luke Skywalker, the whole robotoid thing where he's entirely synthesized, like his voice and his look they're at the point where they basically can almost recreate anything they want we kind of knew this already but there was a huge like back and forth uh, with all the different kinds of people complaining left right and center about it just curious what you guys thoughts on it are exactly because um we'll get it out of the way that mark hamill would have given his permission or rather let's just assume that that's the case even if it's not what do you think about that i mean it's impressive on a technical standpoint but man, guess in the future you don't even need people anymore to do your voice lines because you can just yeah. CGI them in and then put the voice over there because you all filtered filtered well, all the voice lines that are out there already. Maybe uh, one just day. Just filtered those through an AI and then just <laughs> put them on their faces. Here's the interesting like, thing: we might be like twenty years ago away from someone just dropping their like their fan sequel trilogy script into a computer and getting a fully realized mm -hmm. version of it back out mm. uh, in like. Yeah, two hours. We are heading to the future of computers are going to be able to generate art at a scale that is impossible for humans. We're to all going to get replaced by computers. I, I, yeah, but we're not Absolutely. doing that conversation. Drawing it I back, what we have right now, I actually think is a little bit awkward. Really? That's all you got? Let me help you. Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? There's something weird about the way Luke's talking in, in that episode. Mm -hmm. and it's not something that we were all really focusing on because we, we were thinking more about mm. the events. What should I do about him? What should I do about him? He's got like the exact same tone and delivery for every single line. Would you like to remember? You will find balance as well. Get back up. Always get back up. And from what I've gathered, it's because of the fact that the AI doesn't know how to actually create like a human delivery. It just knows that this is something he said this way before. This is him saying it now. And it makes him come across as fucking deadpan robot. Do you remember back home? I will teach you to protect yourself. No, that isn't how it works. However, you will be giving into attachment to those that you love and forsaking the way of the Jedi. Wait, so Mark Hamill, the voice was a computer, or it was? Yes. Yeah, it was a computer that did it. Yeah, it wasn't him. There what? was no Mark Hamill in the. I feel like uh, except for I feel the fake like voice. It's, oh. it's definitely cyberpunk. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Right? I, I don't you, like basically, that. Basically, using a computer, you can just take a real person, put them in your story, and have them do whatever you want forever. 
And there's there is a creepy factor there. there. Uh, yes. The idea, and, uh, this concept that an actor or actress sort of has some level of power or some level of ownership over the character and the sense of its presentation is, I think it's a special thing about acting. It contributes greatly to the artistic nature of what it is. You're trying too hard. Don't try. Do. This is a training remote. Feel the force all around you. Can you imagine a Gandalf who isn't Ian McClellan? Can you imagine <laughs> a Tony Stark that isn't uh, Robert Downey Jr., you know? And these characters, by virtue of who's playing them, change in their universe because a certain actor is portraying them in a certain way. If you remove that aspect from their portrayal, then there is going to be inevitably a change in universe with how that character acts and sounds mm. and is perceived by everyone else so this isn't even purely a meta thing your thoughts betray you father i feel the good in you the conflict let me help you have you heard anyone talk like that back home i will not fight you father really that's all you got as soon as it's now plausible to just recreate an actor's performances forever I mean, even if they're not as good necessarily right if you can do that there's now no limiting factor on how many performances that you can get out of someone playing the same character right there's going to be media where um instead of us getting a new wolverine right now that hugh jackman has stepped down or a new batman now that ben affleck has stepped down i'm concerned that we will end up in an environment for media where you just get the same actor having digitally pumped out performances over and over again and there's like a thousand Ben Affleck Batman movies and we'd never get to see in any new interpretations of the characters. And it's, it's a confuse, it's incredibly fuse, confusing continuity that no person can keep track of because there's a thousand movies that are all just being interjected at random points in the timeline. I've seen a lot of complaints. Um, that's definitely one of them. I've seen people say you'll never get the human reactions and emotions. Oh, and even, the, so this is, the, this is the funny thing to me. Better. I'm just sitting there like, look, we've just been talking about how Arcane's expressions are fucking phenomenal. Have you forgotten how she left you? Who found you? Who cared for you? Gave you a home? And in t mm -hmm. at times like, could an actor even do better than this? I only wanted to help. I only wanted to help. I only wanted to help my own. I told you to stay away. I think it's just the technology is far from perfected. That's, that's what's yeah, wrong. What, you know what's just much time. more concerning to me? <laughs> is the idea that these machines will be able to fully capture the idea, the um, the the emotion and the soul of a human um, in, in a way that a viewer can't tell the difference or even do it better. That's well, so way that's... more concerning to me. Even in the video, I think uh, someone asks, is that Mark Hamill's voice? And we're all pretty much in agreement. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's going to be his voice. And it's mm -hmm. just like, we didn't even... Though I think if we were all told to listen to it and then we put it in an environment of guess if it's Mark Hamill or not, we might have been able to pick it up. Um, maybe. But, but yeah, I think maybe. we chalked it up to Mark Hamill but that's trying to give a young version of his yeah. own voice. That's the thing, though. Most people aren't going to be thinking about these things when they're watching it. No, and so that's like, where I actually wanted to go, was that there, there's a tweet that has like 40,000 likes or some shit where it's just talking about how uh, anybody complaining thing. about this doesn't understand that this is our hero in his, like, best form ever, and you should be thankful that we even got to see it. Cyberpunk. I'm just sitting there like, oh, no. Oh, you that don't understand that the thing that you saw happened. Remember the part where you gave an infant a, a, a lightsaber? Yeah, see, he's in top form, I'm sure. Well, and so that was going to be the second conversation, because the first one was that, just the presentation oh, and the scariness of it, and just like, meh, get away, mm, creepy robot yeah. Luke, but also, hey, maybe they'll retcon it and real Luke will chop him in half because he's an android sent to destroy <laughs> the Jedi. <laughs> They'd be like, that could work out. So the second thing was that he says to Grogu at the end, that choice, we were all complaining that he would even give a fucking baby this choice, but the rest of the fandom That's were good. complaining, why the hell is Luke telling Grogu that attachments are bad? That's not something yeah, Luke, Luke believes in. Yeah, Luke absolutely doesn't believe the Jedi, in yeah, Luke true. is definitely not a person who is on the idea that you have to be detached from everything and everyone. I honest, guess like, just, just before we continue any further, I, I guess it's really worth stating very plainly. This is Disney's second assassination of Luke Skywalker. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to just sort of slip under the radar. Oh, well, that was That's be what this the is. The crescendo of all of this discussion, I think, was that people are calling this his grand return again after fucking Mando Season 2 but it's just like, uh, no, they've completely fucked him up again. And funnily enough, I was on, I believe, Open Bar, and Az was saying, like, does this not line up with 
TLJ? Like, is that the idea? He's gonna, like, dogmatically believe in the Jedi stuff, it's gonna fuck everything up, and then he's gonna hate the Jedi. Like, that's how, that's well, how we I guess get to TLJ. Would be, I there. guess it would be consistent in its breaching. Um, well, that's, that's, I think that's the point that he was making was that, yeah, we should expect this because they, they're not retconning, they're not decanonizing the sequels. We're sending Luke there. Right. So. And, <laughs> and even then, that's just, it's, it's such a bizarre way to do it because the way that Luke should be behaving in the Book of Mandalorian here is not how we, because last time we saw him at the end of episode six, what we see here just doesn't follow. How would you possibly say this to Grogu here? It, it doesn't make any sense. Regardless of whether you're trying to make it lead to the sequels, the problem is going... It, all you've done is you've created another gap, which is even more of a problematic gap because that gap is much, much smaller and the breach in character is massive. He's credited, but obviously it's for his... Uh... Yeah. Lightness? Yeah. 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 So he's dramatically out of character, but there's one saving grace... And that is, I've seen several people suggest this, it's a fucking ruse. It's going to be a point he's going to be making. It's not actually a choice he's giving to Grogu. Gonna that be what could a, help a lot. Which, you know, even if they retconned that. that part, you still have Luke Skywalker oh, yeah. like building a, a, building a pile of rocks to live in on some planet. So I was and about to raise a point along those lines. It's, it's The Mandalorian is set five years after uh, OT? Uh, Return of the Jedi. Right. Yeah. So, what has Luke been doing so for the last? The fuck, five have years? you been doing? <laughs> five years and a short amount of time. Five years is what the entire uh, OT took place within. So, what the has moment been doing for five years? Luke should be getting letters and messages from all over the galaxy of people who are force sensitive and who, who know force Jedi. sensitive people who want to be trained by him. He wants to restore the Jedi Order. The idea the that after the five years he happened to cross some fucking baby. That had force power, and he devotes every single thing to this one student, and is just now building up a rock hut to live in on some random planet. What have you been doing? We're jacking it. We're gonna bring these topics back up because we got a sh comment showcase on the way. But until then, we'll just oh do goodness. just do some memes, just a little little meme. Oh, I love memes. A, bit of memes. Right. a little bit of memes, and then uh, before the comment showcase, how mm -hmm. very exciting! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <a> disgusting creature. <laughs> uh, Why does it keep getting remastered? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me just my little doggy shoulders shiver. Like, ew, I get goosebumps. This one's kind of just funny. I saw it on the subreddit. Leia trusted me with her son. I took him and a dozen students and began a training temple. It's like, uh, I mean, I built it and had a student mm. six years prior. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I, I fucking whatever. Some people take these things as evidence of retconning, like evidence that they're going to get rid of the sequels. And uh, I was, I was talking okay. to Jay about this a little bit. Before. And Jay was just like, wait, so they see inconsistencies as evidence of retconning? It's like, man, we've Welcome got a lot Star of them. <laughs> like, I guess they retconned the OT. Huh? Oh, easily, many times. That's not canon. That's the most the most uncanon one right now is the OT. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's, I'm going to have to edit that in now, aren't I? You have to yeah, edit you that have to. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll make the sound effect. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It'll be in the clip. It's part of, the, it's part of Monty yeah, Python's it, movie. This is I'm what sorry. people were talking about with the Disney canon. That's Yoda's lightsaber being tossed into a furnace and it gets destroyed. <laughs> Um, God, he's like, he looks evil. He didn't look this evil. <laughs> he's in a the beard guy, oh Rex. He's a beard guy. There's like 50 different people writing canon for Disney. None of them have met each other. No, They've never met. Never. They don't even know they exist. They think that they're the only one. The only they one. Think just, they think it's a special honor that they get to write the canon for Disney, and they don't know that there's 36 other people who are doing it. Look, it's just in our rotation, okay? This is an amazing meme. Whoever found this meme <laughs> is. A connoisseur of memes who has incredible taste. It really does feel like it would have come out of our community, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I saw this. Blow. <laughs> I saw this in the words, and I was like, ah, oh, this is EFAP. This is EFAP distilled into a meme. It could this be, is it. This would have been made on, like, TKO. It's a warrior of some kind. Yeah. <laughs> Shrunkle Scrimblow. Jedi Master Shrunkle Scrimblow. Yeah, which takes us 
to Comment Showcase. The first one is from Twitch. Yeah, I just saw it while Metal was streaming or offering. I can't remember whose stream it was from, but I saw this and I was like, pretty funny. I love how Luke was lecturing about how Baby Yoda needed to rid himself of attachment right before he hands him a lightsaber that he specifically states belonged to his old master. Yeah, I remember that. Sounds like an attachment, bro. That's No, no, no. That's It's it's just... It happened to be that one. It's oh, the only lightsaber oh, he had apart oh. from his own. It happened to be Jedi Master Yoda's. How he got it, it I, I don't it was know. It the only one he had that was small enough to give to an infant. Uh, to a baby. Yeah, and it just happened to belong to the only other member of his species, he, like, co coincidentally. He works really hard to get to Carson to get that lightsaber, picks it up, and like his companions at the time are like, man, you really attached that lightsaber. And he's like, no, this is... No, no, no this my is, precious. This was just this on the floor. What? I don't know. I saw it. <laughs> so <laughs> Using this as evidence is great, by the way, but I just can't believe we're talking about whether or not Luke Skywalker is okay with attachments. It's like, did anyone watch the OT who's making the current stuff? That's oh, like what his whole story is about. They don't remember those things. That was a long time ago. Okay. People don't actually remember oh, hey. them. They Rags. remember thing. They remember the idea of them, but they don't actually remember them. Rags, you'll like this one. This is George Whitaker. Rags makes probably the best point about Mando not seeing Grogu. I like this one already. Mm -hmm. This is an astute fit, observation. Mm -hmm. Imagine if Grogu was told that Mando came to the planet but didn't bother visiting Grogu in person. To me personally, I'd be asking a ton of questions like, why would he come this far to see me and then not see me? Why even bother to give me something if you're not going to give it to me in person? Does he hate me? Does he think I'm ugly? No! I, oh, I gotta take this phone call. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's not what it says. Bring it. This is gonna be a long boy. I hope you know that. Yeah. I We're know. looking at probably an hour each at least. Hey, you can just cut out like this bit. Is he going to come back again? Was he told not to come see me? And then all of this would set huge insecurities in my mind, which are the antithesis of Jedi training. Doubt, fear, resentment, desire, etc. are all paths to the dark side. Good job, idiots. <laughs> this is just completely <laughs> true. Uh, that they, They're like, you can't go see him because of attachments. It's just like, but, he, but it's a gift from your Mandalorian friend. It's like, what? Yeah, but, it's, it's a stubborn... Like, this is a really good comment. It, it really does sort of flesh out what Grogu would think because this stubborn attachment to this concept of you can't have attachments, ironic as that is, it causes problems. People aren't really built to be like that. Um, well, that's what the prequels are about. <laughs> having Grogu grow up to have to choose between his attachments and the Jedi Order, same thing that happened to Anakin. Anakin had to choose. Apparently, they can't coexist because that's yeah, cause how things married are. Married in secret and shit. And then, I mean, the OT is completely different. Of course, we already talked about Luke Skywalker. There is no conflict. You couldn't bring yourself to kill me before, and I don't believe you'll destroy me now. Using his attachments and his his like, relationship with his father to defeat the emperor. I mean, it's it's bizarre. It really is like you have thirty six different people writing this stuff and they don't know each other exists. A huge payoff is Yoda being like, "Bro, don't go to your friends. All you'll find is death. Continue training." Only a fully trained Jedi Knight, with the Force as his ally, will conquer Vader and his emperor. And then he's like, "I gotta go help my friends." <sighs> I can't keep the vision out of my head. They're my friends. I gotta help them. It is you and your abilities the Emperor wants. That is why your friends are made to suffer. That's why I have to go. Like, ah, yes, Luke. The non-attachment bro. It's like, we're missing chapters again. And they've gone through the back and they're still missing chapters. How does this happen? At least it's five years away. So we've got so whoever's going to make that prequel can fill in the gaps, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Those gaps are getting smaller and smaller, but I'm sure they're up to the challenge. Oh. So one day we'll be saying, well, what, what happened in those 10 minutes? <laughs> I, uh, I yeah, can't. Luke, something could have happened in those 10 minutes. Oh, it's Indigo. It is Indigo. He's all right. <laughs> it's funny. A lot of people were like, what do you mean? The OT was well written. It's like, <clears throat> Boba Fett did not grow up in the OT. 
Luke, all the questions all about the Yoda to another one of Yoda's species, Ghost Yoda. Ask me, you could have many answers to your questions. Oh, <laughs> you know, fuck, I didn't even think about dude, the Force, force Ghosts. Force issue. Ghosts oh my constantly God, fuck up everything. <laughs> oh my God, why did Force... Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I'm... Is it better that they're not uh, present? Because that's just more people I would have fucked up. I have no clue, but man. I don't know. There's no reason why Luke should not be constantly calling upon the Force Ghosts of Jedi past to guide him in this quest. Literally generating a new De Jedi temple. Like, they're trying to rebuild the entire religion slash society. It's like, maybe, maybe you could ask Yoda about it. Yeah, he's sitting there, he, he's sitting in his, his, his fucking rock hut, and he's making baby Grogu choose between the sword and the armor, and at that point, we should get a forced Yoda go, oh, no, choose he must not. <laughs> Instantly, that should set off red flags. Yeah. Do you, you will be. <laughs> It's such a mess. Maybe that's why the Force goes on turn it up. They're just like, oh god, look at this. Oh, we're, just, no. we're done. It's Funny over. Jock. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're totally going to get Force Qui-Gon Jinn in that Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Oh, Yay. it'll be great. Liam Neeson returns. Why would he want to live in a drafty stone hut and not be allowed to eat frogs for the rest of his life? Didn't let Grogu watch him kill people. Bought him soup. He got... <laughs> <laughs> Can you not make it through this one? He got to go through <laughs> space with him, and sometimes he got to eat passengers. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Baby Yoda is going. It's not what it says. Baby who? Oh, baby. <laughs> baby Yeed. <laughs> Of course, baby Yeed is going to go with Din and not stay with the guy with a robot programmed to shoot baby. <laughs> <laughs> also calling it now, Mace Windu saved Lil Yida from the clone <laughs> troopers and he and Boba will fight in season two or three of Book of Boba Bobby oh. Pete. They'll probably bring that back Mace Windu. I don't see why the fuck they wouldn't. He was sent out the window yeah. without an arm. He'll have a robotic arm and a scar and he'll be like... I didn't yep. die then. Yeah, if if if, if oh, fucking really Darth Maul lived, Yo, Mace Windu's <laughs> fine. Mace Windu's fine. He doesn't have anything to worry about. Pa Rags Palpatine but, lived. That's true. I don't know why my. Palpatine, I guess my brain. Yeah. Did, yeah. Literally atomized, but he'd survive. <laughs> twice. They, they Rags, have created, twice. <laughs> they've created a scenario where they are creating their own future payoffs because they elaborated on. <laughs> through memory powers that Grogu is in the Jedi temple. So, you know, they're going to use that to have someone save him and it's going to be a big special thing. Um, so they're just waiting to cash that check they wrote for themselves. Yeah. And this too, again, you have Grogu spends, I guess, a day with Luke Skywalker who makes him work and do exercises and sit around and get shot. And at. He, <laughs> yeah, he shot, shot him with a robot. <laughs> He has this scary sword he pulls out. He has to live in this hut where there's just cracks in the walls and it's going to collapse in a stiff breeze and there's no air conditioning and they have to eat raw frogs. And he's like, fuck this, Mando. We had a ship and a bed and there was indoor plumbing and air conditioning. And I went to school and I ate cupcakes and there were kids to play with and we went places. Like, what do you think a baby's going to choose? Fuck to hell with this i don't want to live on this in, yeah. the, in this stone hut um doesn't even have a bed that was it wasn't that i thought it was impossible to build something without a connecting agent it's just that i didn't understand why they would be doing that when they have technology yeah yeah why would you live like is there a deliberate nice irony in having sci-fi robots build a stone hut that was like fucking prehistoric well i would assume it's supposed to be a traditional thing right that's not true remember the prequel trilogy well no but like i'm not not necessarily all of them but some of the jedi temples would conform to this i it's of all of all the problems that i would have with the episode it's incredibly low down i Hang think on, it's silly I, I yeah it just seems bizarre that you would have all of the there were dozens of these robots moving one rock at a time and climbing up somehow i know they did they couldn't have shown it because it wouldn't have made any sense whatsoever so they climb the structure to get to the little, top yeah yeah these ant robots who are stacking rocks up to make a, a rock dome that no fuck this <laughs> like i said yoda's hut was nicer than this solus luke with his dead eyes is the epitome of disney star wars <laughs> yeah it is indeed. that that is yeah. that is epitome yeah. for future reference no i know no, no.
I like epitome. I like epitome. <laughs> epitome. The guy who had attachments to his oh. friends and family all of his childhood, and still turns out to be one of the greatest Jedi who ever lived, tells his students that he can't see his adoptive father ever again, probably the only person Grogu will ever have this strong a connection to, because the old ways forbid this. Fuck off. Luke from the Legends was smart enough to understand that it was exactly this kind of bullshittery that destroyed the old Jedi Order. Filoni's work was only downhill from the Clone Wars. He lost his touch when he tried to do a really childish cartoon. I don't know what touch he ever had, obviously. Uh, I don't even say that to make fun of him. I'm, I, like, I don't know. Can we go further than this? He literally saw attachments save his father from the dark exactly. side. <laughs> it saved he the has universe. A, he has it saved a, the he universe. Um, Vader, was, Vader was withdrawn from the dark side through via his attachment to Luke. Yes. That was the fucking point! Luke, make a life-altering choice you can't take back, small child. Grogu <laughs> 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 shits himself because he's an infant. <laughs> it might be a cut scene, you know, like, but I think that would have happened at some point. You assume that he Make shits in choice. his pants. He yeah, because he can't fucking, he can't do that stuff. He's still a baby. Imagine Mando shows up in his fucking stupid Naboo starfighter, and he puts him in the little astromech bubble, and it takes days to cross the galaxy, and... Like, Jesus Christ, like a baby in there and you can't get to him or like change him or where does he gonna? Yeah, it's still a reality that the show would never deal with because everything's so fucking sterile anyway. Yeah, that's what. Where... That's why it's well, the, gonna put Grogu, guys. The way we're gonna deal with Mando having a starfighter is we're just going to ignore at the um, the idea that he would ever need to bring anything with him, or yep. um, yeah, or the tra traveling between two places Sorry. would ever take an amount of time. Yeah. He's just gonna leave, and then it'll cut to something else happening, and then he'll arrive next time we see him. Yeah, and then he'll have all of the stuff he needs somehow. We're just gonna flat out ignore it or invent a plot that's totally different than his uses have ever called for in the past. I'm just imagining there might be a point where we cut to him like t saying oh yeah sure you can come with me and then we just cut and we don't show the journey and then they arrive together with his like and his starfighter was just there well remember i can totally might, see him doing that they've set a precedent when Cobb teleported from behind somebody that people can just get oh, anywhere they want with whatever they want Star. <laughs> it was funny though <laughs> It looked deliberate, it like they funny. would have framed it. Like the director was like, yeah, this would be really cool him. to have you almost yeah, appear like, from behind him. Do you think the actor was like, this is, what? This is strange, but okay, yeah, I'm getting paid. Surely so. you would think that these actors sometimes would just, like, like they would voice their concern that this doesn't make any fucking sense and it's bizarre. Mm -hmm. My favorite part is probably when Fennec says they need foot soldiers. Mando doesn't even consider any other options, but immediately seems to think, there was this village I passed through eight episodes ago where half the villagers <laughs> died helping me kill a giant sandworm to defend their town. Surely the surviving inhabitants would love to abandon said village and become mercenaries in the city. I've got this. What the fuck? Not only is it stupid, but it goes to show the galaxy is only as big as the last season of Mando. Oh, mm -hmm. such a good comment. That's a really good comment. That's exactly. A, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. True. Nailed it so hard. As if Tatooine hot. wouldn't be just a hotbed of mercenaries chomping at the bit to no the fight townspeople to get money the mining town right. Yep. Who were ravaged by the sand dragon that they for some god don't remember how stupid that episode was. It'll be scared off by ships, but we can't have a ship here or anything to replicate the sounds or effects of a ship because reasons. They'll be scared off by ships. Oh, so that's your solution. No. No. <laughs> um, by the way, that was their reason have, like, for why he couldn't use the ship to attack it. It's such shite writing. You would oh, think that they would have PTSD from watching their friends get, like, eaten. And remember it had, like, acid saliva and yep. it would, like, melt people? Yep. Like, fuck me. That should make them traumatized. They're like, no, we're not going to come in. The last time we helped the dude with the Mandalorian helmet, Steve Bragg. and Regina and Adam got melted. You see, unbeknownst to fucking Mando, they were attacked by cowboy alien. And so now <laughs> they have a, they're emotionally invested. I hate that I'm saying this, but with everything um, that was set up in the first four episodes, surely it would make more sense for him to go to the Tuscans. Not the dead ones. Not the dead ones. Just... No, <laughs> not, not the dead not, ones. The, just, a sect of Tuscans and, and employ their help. Surely that would make sense. More and so Tuscans than I think it makes more sense. Slaves. But um, I don't think the Tuscans would agree, would they? I guess you'd have to pay them. Just pay them. Literally just pay, pay them. them. Slaves. 
Off of the slave. Oh my god, can you imagine? He's like, he's got a no, bunch it, of Trandoshans to hand over. Like, you can have these. No, no, slaves. it's it's the syndicate. He's like, all the syndicate that you capture, they could be your slaves. Oh my god. See? And that would be crime lordy. Go over, like, find a sect of Tuscans that are also on the gun train route and say, hey, we're gonna. We're <laughs> killing <laughs> the people. We're killing the people doing this to you. Do you want to join? And they'd be like, yeah. I, yeah. I imagine. Imagine being the boss of the syndicate and then someone comes up to you, he's like, the gun train's been fucked. You're like, oh god, like, what attacked it? It's like a bunch of people with sticks. <laughs> Like, no, really. It is like, no, really. The Last... sticks they found when they were high on nose lizards. <laughs> <laughs> Last comment for comment showcase. Who wants to take it? I'll take it. This is by Gene Learns English. Oh, that's good. Boba is like a player who wants to get through the evil route, but can't force himself to be rude to NPCs. <laughs> so you know fucking now true. That, I, that I can relate to. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to be a bad guy. And then someone's like, help, I fell over. And you're like, oh no, let me help oh, you. What's I, up? I, exactly. <laughs> I relate to that <laughs> experience quite a lot. I'll help you, but I'll frown. I'll be evil about it. <laughs> Just press the sarcastic I'll, option. I'll be, yeah, I'll be sarcastic when I help you. That makes me evil, right? Gene? I have no idea. You seem to saying. have learned English pretty well. Yeah. You did have a great, great grasp on the language from what I've seen. Good job, Gene. Oh Before boy. That, I have to um, relieve myself of fluid from my bladder. Oh, very well. Yeah. You know what? While he's doing that, I'm going to go pee. <clears throat> well, he's oh. peeing. I'll also go pee. You know, I'm going to go pee. <laughs> Wait, no, no, come back. <laughs> Mel, you better go pee. <laughs> I don't need to. You have to. I thought the opposite. I fill up my water. Get shit on. Everybody's gone. Get fucked. Oh no. It's just you and me now. I'm legitimately super, super I'm curious to see what happens. Yeah. I'm yeah, it, it's for purely meta reasons. <laughs> I don't give a shit about anybody in this show. I'm just I just want to know what they do. Because it's such a weird, bizarre, disjointed season of a TV show. It is a, Nobody knows I'm back yet. It's a weird one. All we have to do is wait for Jay to get back and we should be good. Nobody knows I'm secretly an elf. Oh my god, Jay is actually here? And an elf. Are we ready? Wow, we were in the middle of a conversation. You're just like, well, start a bit. You said this was an hour. It's 58 minutes and 41 seconds. You lied. To when me. will the lies end? They won't. Are they lying and they will end? Oh my goodness gracious. Discuss in the comments. There will I'm be another ready. comment showcase now, though, because that's the end. Yeah, there will. Oh. Back to the kid. Woo! Sand. Oh, do you think Boba will be in this one? And has flown yeah, that's all. Awesome. I mean, maybe. He's in the previous one. He's, he's gotta be. Do you think Tamura's just like chomping on the bit to be in his own show? No. Who'd want to be in this shit? Oh, when he said that Boba shouldn't talk as much, this is what they did. They just took him out of the show. <laughs> Where were you when I made that joke like twice? I mean, Boba Fett didn't say anything in that scene. <laughs> He didn't. Tamura Morrison got his way. <laughs> Maybe they finally listened to him. Yeah. Who? Sorry, what? I fucking hate you. <laughs> what are they putting on him? It's a laser bl shot. Why are you putting a blanket on it? <laughs> right, the mayor. I totally okay. forgot about that. Oh yeah, the, the, the mayor guy. Yeah. Oh yes. Don't betray me. We totally won't. <laughs> Oh, that's the same dog creature as was in the um the 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 meat shop. They love yeah. their meat. Oh no! Oh no, not her. Well, she was one of my favorites. Um, she, she was so you know. Well, all caught up. We could have yeah, just watched the last episode. They didn't have anything. <laughs> you really in the like? Let's be honest. You can skip the first four. <laughs> skip the first six. Skip the. Skip it. <laughs> just skip it all together. So excited. I'm having. Dude, anything could happen. All people could cameo. Oh, well, there's, you know, there's a bit of crap everywhere. We're at war. And no one died, apparently. <laughs> we are at war. Nice. It was inevitable. <laughs> what was it? I see your helmet's off again. But then, of course. Yay, That's Mando, nice. our favorite. Well, Play the sound. Aw. Uh, no sound. I think so. Oh, and the mod people are here, too. Uh, what price did you negotiate? Free. Free. He's been holding off the spice trade single-handedly. I told him we could shut it down. Okay. That's most of Jabba the Hutt's business. Are we That's only now addressing wants. this? There's a lot of credits to be made <laughs> from that orange powder. In the long run, it is better for us as well. Spice is killing our people. Oh, there we go. Let the people of Freetown Free Town. They have my word. Yeah, they call himself. You can tell Did... himself when he arrives here. You're getting into the, the politics well, of you the actual like efficacy of banning come. drugs. No, for a split second, they just mentioned drug ban. Well, if he does not, yeah. we are doomed. Also, 
Yeah, we have no guarantee Cobb's Cobb showing up. Madness. We know he won't be, but... Didn't Cobb literally say, like, oh, I'll have a... Oh. Is that uh -oh. Cobb said he'd think about it, basically. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, which to me doesn't right. sound like he's delivering them urgently. Yeah. It's a big yeah, deal. Good. If you get a bunch of civvies with guns, maybe sticks, I don't know. That's not gonna help you in a war. We'll lock down at the palace. It's a bad idea. The palace offers greater protection. If you want to abandon Mas Espa and hide in your fortress, go ahead. We're staying. The people who live here need our protection. But he just said we should show up into the palace, the fortress, and then she said if you want to hide in your fortress, go ahead, but we're staying with the tower. It's like, he, no, just bring everybody into the palace. Like everybody that. just uh. goes into the palace, right? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking uh, thingy yeah, again. Yeah. Wait, so we're gonna choose to defend this this horribly useless town instead of a fortress because it, it would be mean to go to the fortress. That sounds great. I mean, if the pikes want to take over, it's not in their interest to destroy the whole city anyways. It's not good cover. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They should just go to the fortress. <laughs> yeah. You won't have to worry about Freetown. Did you convince the you, marshal to... No, you probably did well, the no, You probably do, because you already shot their leader. You used to live among a Tuscan raider tribe in the desert. Oh, there you go, Jay. They no longer <laughs> exist. We destroyed them ourselves. It's oh, like one yeah. outpost. There's there more Tuscan raiders. Yeah, <laughs> he has no idea. Lol, that means he did kill the bikers for no reason. Wait, where, oh, what's is happening he just now? gonna go ahead oh. and shoot the fuck out of the? Oh yeah, yeah there okay. he is. Yeah, that's okay. That's what we're doing. Oh wow, it's just funny that he's decided they're evil and worthy of erasure compared to anyone else. <laughs> what? How do you know these are the ones? How do you even know? <laughs> Whatever. He meted out his revenge on them. In his mind. The matter is resolved. <laughs> I <didn't> True. Realize <laughs> that <it's laughs> because the fat Gatra is taking refuge in the ruins of the sanctuary. It will take extreme measures to remove them. Will it? I think uh, why? I have an idea like, how to draw six guys. the fat out. Does he, does he just talk yeah. like that all the time? Yeah, apparently, yeah. They're in a bird building. Do you guys Throw have some difficulty with in there. Just, yeah, like, <laughs> you could do anything. Get Put another throwers. bomb in there. Admittedly, they do have armor and shit, but... Wait, is that R2-D2? Right. That, what, was that r Okay. What? <laughs> okay, I like the, the one droid. I like them too. I'm trying to avoid letting my brain fuck me over on that one. Pit droids are cool because they look like they're trying real hard. Oh, look at them. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> that Luke bringing back Rogu. Wait, there's no one in there. Yeah, there was no one in there. Did he already get out? Is that the joke? Don't tell me it's just Grogu and R2-D2 just flew him here. Yeah, I bet you it is. Oh, yeah. go fuck off. <laughs> just, oh. So Luke just sent him with R2-D2? Just put him in this X-Wig with R2-D2. It's like, what I can't be hell? fucked. <laughs> How's R2-D2 meant to get back? Well, Does I guess... Does he have to fly himself? Yeah, well, that's the idea, because Grogu ain't flying that thing, so... Yeah. Yeah. But the problem I just have is, like, so Luke was hoping to deliver Grogu to... Mando. Mando, yeah. How does he know where Mando is? Because so, yeah, R2-D2 doesn't know who this woman is, right? Yeah. Um... So Luke's instructions must have been, R2, take Grogu to the... To, to Mos Espa and entrust him to the nearest stranger that you've never seen before. Yeah, because... She dung worms. It's disgusting. I mean, you can just leave. You did your work. R2, you suck. Yeah. You should have locked the ship up and said Mando's the only one that can access it. First of all, the only reason they didn't bring Luke is to come be asked to fucking deal with that budget. Like, crisis yeah. of getting yeah. all that shit together. But secondly, that fucks over Luke a little bit, I think. Yep. Yeah, you know, probably a little bit busy, you know. Fuck you know, putting his bricks together. The truce and then, we negotiated yeah. with the other families of Mos Espa will ensure that they will remain neutral and allow us to gain oh their God, his power stands. the arriving soldiers. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cringe. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they're awesome, and you're wrong. The Gamorrean guards are posted in the Clactunian territory at the Starport. Oh god, are we do- Oh, are we doing like a- We're sending all our people Ocean's in different 11. places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chrysanthemum is in Trandoshan territory. Oh, look, he put his blast on this time. Okay, why is... Ooh. We're just waiting until they attack, I guess. You only have, like, they like come from or something. Why not just keep them all in the fortress? That would have been a great idea. Uh, it's, it's a good yeah. job, though. It's a good job that his main henchmen aren't really conspicuous. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All our flanks are covered. Nobody's sneaking. Yeah, with like two people each. Nobody's sneaking up on us five people. 
<laughs> you don't even know what kind of no. power you have. It could be like five oh people coming from Freetown. What if they send in like 10,000 people? Yeah. Good friend, there is someone here to see you. Why are you here? Oh, Man, imagine how far you have to walk. <gasps> Rags, what do you think about the things you saw? Jesus Christ, like, there's so much to discuss. I'm really trying not to yell in frustration at, like, <laughs> I... this internet timing. Because holy fuck, that was a dense 10 minutes of just crap. I don't even know, like, where to start. Jesus Christ. Boba Fett's being given battle tactics by some fucking Randys. Using this place as a fortress instead of... The palace, because the people was like, no, we're going to stay here and fight. Like, Boba Fett should be telling them that that's suicide. And they'll, they'll definitely die if just two of them sit here in this place. Agreed. Instead of, uh, instead of being at the palace where he can, like, survive. I think it's hilarious that it actually turns out that the Tusken Raiders were killed by not the bikers. And we, joke joke about we, it, made yeah. several we times. joked about it. <laughs> and sure enough, it happened. Boba Fett didn't do any research. He didn't try to find the right people. He just assumed that, oh, this is them. And so, boom, took care of them. So, good job, Boba Fett. Imagine that scene Great from work. the biker's perspective now. Literally, oh, hey, it's the, the Dinmo. What, what do they call him? Daimyo. Daimyo. Da it's the, hey, 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 it's the daimyo. He, he's supposed to be here to protect us. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's literally their POV in that scene. They're slaughtering us. They're they killing us all. Why? We didn't do anything. <laughs> they, they, several of them would have died wondering what the fuck is this? Like, what? What? <laughs> why? What in the world? Yeah, could... why? I wonder if you'll ever find out that doing that was a fucking he bullshit. Will, it'll make him angrier at the pikes. Like, I'm saying he should have he a moment of like, like wow, him. I'm a fucking yeah. asshole, aren't I? Uh, what will happen is that he will find out and he'll be like, that blood is on your hands, the pikes. Right, oh yeah, okay, alright. He's gonna he's gonna be like a pike there as he, he finds out, and he's gonna get really cross, and he's gonna shoot them all. Slap him, give him a slap. Luke Skywalker decides the course of action that needs to be taken is that he needs to put Grogu inside of an X-Wing, his X-Wing, put R2 in the back, and then fly Grogu to Tatooine, unaccompanied, essentially, to land randomly at this one place and just hope that everything goes well? I, I, what the I, fuck is Luke doing? I'll do even worse. R2 seems to just be like, you're not Mando. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. And it's like, oh, okay. So <laughs> Luke baby. didn't even have the Luke, common... Luke would have given you one, come. one specific order, which would have been... Come. This is the thing. I think it's a fucking out of character thing for him to do anyway. But if we take it to be literal, he's like, only hand Baby Yoda to Mando. And R2's like, sure thing, boss. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, there's some old and, lady here. And how do you find him? You're you're a droid in a ship. How do you, like, talk to people? Do you just randomly land and ask, Do you have you seen a Mandalorian around here? And then you take off in your X-Wing and go to where that place is? And you know what? You know what you could have done instead? I don't, but this, by the way, I wouldn't have expected this act in general. But you have her run out. And then the X-Wing lands, it opens up, we have her POV only, and then she goes, oh. Like, she, and that's it, we cut. And then later on, we, whatever we're doing with fucking Baby Yoda being here. Because, like, I understand that you don't want to have to do all the fucking Luke Skywalker work again, uh, in terms of post-production. You didn't have to show him. He could have been there. We were saying last time, this is how they're going to have Luke meet Boba Fett. That Grogu, of course, chooses the armor, and so Luke has to fly him there. No. Nope. But now Luke <laughs> just doesn't give a fuck. Luke's, Luke has more important things to do right now, I guess. It could have so, been anyone. It could have been Ahsoka. It could have been... Yeah. Uh, <sighs> but the thing is, Luke doesn't have anything bad to do. Now his only student is gone, and he's just I like, just, yeah, fuck off. When he put... Baby Yoda and fucking thing, and then sent R2. I think Ahsoka was like, Luke, that's kind of dangerous, man. Just saying. A little bit irresponsible. You're a bit weird. You're acting a little weird takes there, Luke. Baby Yoda and runs away. What is R2 gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> she literally the does. Like, walk the so fuck off. Care. And then she says, keep your, keep your dome on or something. And it's just like, uh, no, not chill. This isn't, no, not cool. And she probably starts feeding just, Baby Yoda someone else's offspring. I can't believe the damage to Luke's character continues, and he's not <laughs> even here. Keep it's not even it just here. keeps happening. They're so desperate to have Luke Skywalker, and everything they tell us about him is damaging to his character. However, you will be giving into attachment to those that you love, and forsaking the way of the Jedi. 
It's worse and worse. Truth. The truce you negotiated with the other families of Mos Espa will ensure that they will remain neutral. I ensure. Suppose. I mean, we hope they That's will. That's not how that works yeah. at all. That's not the fact ensure, that they agreed yeah. to it. If you remember, we were critical of that scene and several people were like, they're lying. That's why it's not stupid. It's like, are. it's still <laughs> stupid because that means that he would have fallen for the fucking lie. Yeah. These are, this is like a third of your army right Why here. The These yep. goofy losers and their fucking silly ass bikes. But, but Rax, they look so confident and cool. What do you think? Gamorian Gamorian? nipples look Dude. funny. One pistol and they're all dead. Yeah, I don't know why they look at the Gamorium guards as like a super useful element of their team. And oh, that you're just so looking around. Warm. And they've, shit. yeah, it does. They've said, by the way, like, what is Chrysanthemum's job? And it's like to stand there and just sort of hopefully everything's look around. going chill. It's like, okay. He doesn't talk, does he? He hasn't said anything is he supposed to call and say I think something he just yells King says, Shark would be more useful. Yeah, so is the point here that Doing everybody's what? just around? Yeah. Kind of. This is a great <laughs> plan, everyone. Scene for that. You know what a bit of shit plan? Gathering up all of your townspeople into the palace and then having everybody stationed ready for a war. That would have been really stupid. Why would the Pike Syndicate randomly destroy the town? They need it for like exactly. money and stuff. Exactly. Why would they destroy it? Mando You're here! Did you walk? Yeah, yeah that's what that's what <laughs> yeah. I said earlier. I was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look at his fucking legs. I've never seen that. I've never noticed how flumpy that droid's legs are before. They're they're a bit odd. <laughs> Why don't they just fucking shoot I'm, him? I think Boba's armor looked way better with the uh, the light gray undercoat. Yeah, or the black makes it look mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, it doesn't work with the black. It doesn't look good in black. I agree. Oh, nice Black gray looks better. So for a tense. Job, you're late. No, attack him. You'll get a job. <laughs> Wait, did Boba just try to hire him? He said he's too late to get a job, which is unreal for his character at this point. Gutless murderers. Damn. If that's not the quack to call in the stiffling slimy. What? <laughs> they mean something. <laughs> okay. We know they're out. I wouldn't be counting on the people of Freetown to be coming anytime. Oh, yeah, they renamed it Freetown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The irony is that you could probably count on it more than you ever could because yeah. he fucking killed this sheriff. You should have never left him without his armor. Okay. Just shoot him. Shoot him now. Yeah, just yeah. I don't know. Oh my Kill god, him. they're so conspicuous. That was, by the way, that was Mando's friend, not Boba's. I don't know if Boba will care. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How could this have happened? How can we deal with them when we have another Mandalorian and a sniper? They have armor too. No, just shoot him. Shoot Cad Bane right now. Get him out of the picture. Just shoot him as well. Yeah. We'll shoot him. And yeah. Get him out of the picture. The yeah. Fennec can shoot like five people oh. in three seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually inhuman. What do you propose then? Kill. Crush. Destroy. You mean the one that massacred your Tuscan family and blamed it on a speed bike gang? Wait, why would he say that? Yeah, why would you? Why would he say why that? Why would you say that? The whole point. Show, the guy okay, said that remember. it's good that he didn't know. He wants a fight. I bet you feel like an idiot right true. now. But like, that those, wasn't Cad Bane that did that though. So it's not gonna make those a flashbacks, man. This show thinks we're so. <laughs> why are you leaving dumb. cover? Why are you? Leaving why are you leaving here? cover? Right now. Oh god, Flume Fingers. I mean, you're gonna lose though. Yeah, he basically is. He's got all, well, yeah, like this is the thing. You could theoretically win, but you won't win against not him in this now. show. We fight on our terms, not theirs. Are these not your terms? I can take him. You're emotional. I can take him. We need to adjust. Listen to your woman. You'll have to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're oh, emotional. No, it's so tense. Kill you can't. How can he possibly be faster than you? You killed the people that enslaved me. Yeah. <laughs> Negotiations are terminated. You're going soft in your old age. You don't have a nose. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, that's mean. So what are the guys on the roof for? There's only eight, one eight, left. Eight, oh, they just duck four. back behind the balcony. Yeah, they'll just chill there. An impressive display. Why is this guy still in the show? I don't know. He wants to get in close with Boba, I guess? No, I just mean why did they choose to have this character in the show at all? Have the bikes arrived? Something feels off. Something can you feels be more, off? Can you be less you be specific, specific yeah. please? Yeah. What's, what's what is the thing that you've seen that makes you feel that way? Oh, oh so you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, yeah, they, they just ambushed oh, they you with pistols. That's good. So what's feeling strange? Oh, you know, everybody's pulled out pistols and shooting us. I thought we had a treaty. So did I. I thought we had a treaty. Yes. Also, I'm Yay. sorry. What a terrible ambush, by the way. You had all the advantages. This is the, this is the shittiest ambush. Yeah, what if you shot at them before they noticed that you had weapons? He has two scopes on his gun. Oh, is that one for each dude, eye? Dude, everyone's going to get <laughs> ambushed. Two scopes on his gun. It's they pulled out knives wrong. at that distance? What are they doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't want to fight a Wookiee with- Knives! 
Just shoot them. Uh, shoot, shoot them. Shoot them. It's like infection you have and a halo. Gun. You have a gun. Don't look confused. Shoot them. Use the gun with, with the, the gun train. Looks oh so no! Fucking bad. Oh no! The Gamorrean okay, so gods. Wait, well, why are they here? One pistol and they're dead. <laughs> oh no, he's the using one his guy gun. with the gun and they're running at it with sticks. Gun. Oh, these guys didn't have guns, so they can have a melee fight. What the hell? Where is everyone's guns? <laughs> Where are you guns? Is this the war they talking about? Oh, they gotta push them off oh, the edge. No. The pig, oh the piggies. no, this is not nice. Oh yeah, there they go. <laughs> What? How did you wow. lose so easily? <laughs> that was pathetic. Why did you keep backing up towards the cliff? And yeah, that was the really the wrong decision, honestly. Yeah. The magic of flight. It's a coordinated attack. We'll have to gather our people. Does the Pike Syndicate still operate out of Moss Eisley? It's difficult to say for certain, but. Mos Eisley? Yes, now that I think of it, indeed. Why would he lie? Because he works for the Pikes, right? I don't know. Oh, well, he works for the Mayor. I guess, but... Mayor's evil, so... Oh my god, Vigo. I'll take my speeder. Okay, alright. Uh, Wait, how are we here now? What? What he, have you been doing just... in the meantime? Oh, they took the gun. Oh, I don't no, see he's it. got Dude, his knuckle Dude, seriously, dusters. I don't see how they stand any chance at all because of how fucking... Oh, I guess they're hugging what him. What are they doing? They're just grabbing him. What Zombies. happened to your weapons? <laughs> oh, okay, that was really weird. What the fuck? How the bikes Oh, did that guy die up? again? That seriously. Again. <laughs> they should have won this fight instantly if they'd done it right. Yeah. Throw a grenade. <laughs> yeah, but she won't die, Rags. None of the main mod people will die. Oh, I'll just kills them yeah, all. It's just Fennec's gonna wipe them Guys. all. Okay. Oh, they just run away. Or... Okay. Is this Fennec or? Oh, yeah. they have a weapon. Oh no. Oh, did someone actually did... shoot with? Sorry, was oh, that nice, gun? Was that nice four? Puppet. She killed four. Yeah. That was and the it. other that ones all, ran all, away. We, yeah. Okay. Well, that was easy. What that did you do? Why did you flip it was so for? fucking unnecessary. Holy shit. Hey. Thank you. Manners. I like it. What the fuck? How did You're they useless. not see you get? Or how did they not see you arrive? You parked like right next to them. Well, what yeah. They, what how did they, they not see what if, you arrive? What if, what if they come back? <laughs> well, so, yeah, You're that's right. true. No, how did that, how, how did that make any sense there. at all? She's there. <laughs> oh no! Now this is happening. Oh no! Not, not this. More pikes. Oh no! Yeah, I. I guess this is bad, I guess? Dude, this episode is confusing as hell. Like logistically, I have no fucking clue what's happening. They're here. On account of them standing out in the open? Why don't you just shoot them? Yeah, start shooting them. Just you have like them. little windows you can take cover in. Yeah. Also, you have a And they can't see you. inside because of that's how light works. Uh -huh. They can't see inside, but you can see outside because the inside is darker than. All three. I suppose you'll be heading out. I'm not. Where does they want to go? <laughs> he dies. It's, 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 it's so half a dozen losers out front. He's on a bound to this cold. It's the creed. You, don't, you don't think you're going to die here. This is pathetic. Just shoot them and be done with it. Yeah, you guys aren't going to lose. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's the like, show won't what, let you. six guys standing out in the open? Just shoot them, kill them. The way I see it, We've really earned this last stand choices. between these characters who we have a meaningful These two have been, man, they go back. They really do. Terms. We wait until they get into position and launch a siege on their terms. Or we rush out there. Catch them unaware. Why would you rush out there? How catch them unaware? They're staring at you. Just shoot them now. Shoot them from now, from here where you're standing with your guns. These people are counting on me. Okay then, we'll both die in the name of honor. Oh, both die for off. honor. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so stupid? <laughs> this is the way. If I may offer an alternative, shall I continue? I'll continue. <laughs> So glad I watched the scene. Well. Wait, what? Your tablets. I will write out my statement and what I'm willing to pay. He's gonna say fuck you or something. Yeah. Why are we doing he's this? Just for the joke? Of I guess. Yeah. He's gonna bring the. Yeah. He's gonna read it and be like, "Wow, he said fuck you." you. He said we're bantha fodder or some shit. Read it. And read it. They might kill him. Read it. What you've done is you've just got a guy killed, probably. He didn't read it. Joke doesn't work. He's like, I wish see this coming a mile away. Read it, oh. tailhead. Oh, because of wow, slur. Yeah. You've got little fucking droopy bits on your chin, mate. You 
Someday I hope to see the fabled, droopy bit. Someday I hope to see the fabled obsidian cliffs of Obadiah. Can you shut the fuck up? Dude, Holy they are really extending God. this joke. I, Boba Fett, do present the following offer. Oh no, what does it say? Read it. Nothing. You will leave this planet and your spice trade. If you refuse these terms, arid sands of Tatooine will once again flourish with flowered fields fertilized with the bodies of... He wrote all of this? Yeah, he's very quick writer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. So, I really why would you leave fun? cover and fly through the air? Yeah, this, this is, is cool. just going to shoot nah, you. I can, We're doing, I can um, see the wires. I, like, said, I said they would do this back in season two, the back to back Iron Man 2 thing, but with these two. Yeah. yeah. Finally. Yeah. For reference, I actually feel like this is so probably on point that I want to reference this is before the episode's out, okay? <laughs> but there's going to be a <laughs> scene where Boba and Mando are both like, do, you know, like Iron Man 2, where War Machine and Iron Man are just r r fucking. Oh, wrecking. yeah, and they're back, back. They're going to do that with Boba oh, and Mando. Yeah. Either yeah, a hallway absolutely. or an arena, but they're both just gonna be shooting their guns together. Mando might say like, "We make a good team," and then, and then Boba's like, "I work alone." This is what everyone's wanted to see, Rags. Aren't you excited? Go and shoot them. Just out in the open. And it's they can't so hit fucking you. stupid, but it's cool. Why did he put up his arm like that? Notice Ban Mando just put his arm is up. Nobody shooting Why? Them? So if he sent out the, the negotiator as a distraction, wouldn't it have been better to send him out? With actual oh, one of you know, my terms. armor. No. Uh, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <good>. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there it wow, is. That was... They're just spinning around yeah. and inhumanly shooting people. Yeah, there it is. Ding. So cool. Well, there's no. Why you, what are you doing? Did you there's no point. him? Yeah. <laughs> oh god! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Why are you uh, running around in the open like don't that? Don't waste those. Whistling birds! Beskar is only armor, not weaponry! That those, missed them, those guys clearly. Clearly. You guys think you're so fucking cool. Ding, oh, ding. God! Wow. Why? Why? Why are you, Why are you doing people? that? You just cost yourselves. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, this no. Was, but they're gonna oh, get saved A low point. A low point. Who will save them? Yep. Oh this no! Is invincible. Is low There's no low point here. Oh no! Oh, this They're is just so tumbling. cringe oh, no. to watch. <gasps> Who is Zombuses. it? Who's the one that saves them? Where did they get that? <laughs> Who the fuck's this? It's free town. Oh, it's the free town. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Yeah. When did you Where get did here? Get, how did you get that? How did you just? How did they know any of the? How did they know what was even happening? Oh, this is so terrible. How are you aiming that? Uh, oh. oh, now it's blown up. Oh, how did that happen? They just shot it once. Well, right, there's explosive rounds, maybe. Oh, are those that's, laser that's sticks that are firing? I, I love how they're all cowering as if two people there are just immune to fucking... Yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm sorry about the marshal. Gunned him down in cold blood. Wow, all right. I guess he's dead. What if dead? he's another he surprise sh reveal? No, they didn't say he's dead. They said he gunned him down in cold gunned blood, down, so there's gonna be yeah. another surprise reveal. Oh, God, reveal. here we go. <laughs> How, why did they not shoot you? You're dead. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> God, these guys suck. Did they not continue to shoot him? You can't pull off being cool on that thing. Stop trying. You're in what the, the oh, look at the mini arm. It was like bent the wrong way. <laughs> you don't have any cover. They're just gonna kill you. All you did was arrive God to be shot at. Armor. What was the point of that? You could have flanked them. You could have done anything. You're all just, dude, Oh, your he's head. Wookie man. Somehow he escaped being crawled yeah. upon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> oh, is he dead? I shoot his places that don't have armor, you fools! No! They're it's only hitting him in the. He's out in he the dies. open, he's dead now, surely. surely. He's dead. In the armor again? They're, They're taking to the piss. Fucking armor. They're like legit taking to piss right now. In oh, the leg. oh the Promote that man! <laughs> Give him a raise! <laughs> Oh, stop doing your shitty little payoffs. Fuck off. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what are you doing? Boba saved him. They're all the just hiding behind this ever. one little van. Ew, it's wow. gonna get all hairy. Yeah, it's totally oh, fine. Oh, we did it, everyone.
It's a good thing that the bad God. guys just can't hit fucking anything. No, man, no, Are they no, gonna come back with a tank or like an ATST or something? Dude. Oh yeah, what there you go. What is that? Remember his visor that sh that can see through walls? I'm glad they remembered that. <laughs> One grenade. We should get inside. We should get them. inside. Yeah, we should inside. definitely go to cover. You should definitely guys get go inside. to cover. Go to you cover right now. Off. Real Why the run. fuck didn't they Stop open talking with and these run? Oh, yeah, look at those things. They, they look like they're from Timidale. What are you doing? Okay, Pointing your guns at it, run! Honestly, th Guys. this feels like um, a Jack and Daxter thing. Oh, they have the fucking <laughs> shields, have shields as well. too. Okay, so oh, now is the time move. to leave. Yeah, this is the time to uh, fuck off. atmosphere. Hello, <laughs> man. So you are you real know stupid. Guys, do they know what shields are? Man, if I had a defect for those, they fired. Why haven't they shot? Yeah, whatever they do, why aren't they doing it? What are they. Is it so like basically, the... basically droidicas, right? Yeah, yeah, big ones. They're big boy droidicas. <clears throat> That's not gonna work. Why did what a why? That's it's probably not gonna work. It but... didn't do anything. Obviously. I mean, for the show, it isn't for dramatic effect. I don't know why the robot stopped shooting. They're I guess all it was of a sudden quiet now or... too. Yeah. No, it didn't do yeah, anything. Yeah, that was just a total waste. Wow. Oh, now oh. they want to shoot. Yeah, I was okay. going to say, if they had shot a little earlier, jeez. How are they missing? We'll distract, we'll the distract them. Good luck no, go that. inside! Why are you walking it? <laughs> You're yeah. fucking okay. fools! Why did it not... Oh, oh wow, I would have opened that? with that. You know what? I would have opened with these things, actually. Yeah, jeez. Dude. What are these we doing? Must be... oh, That's easy. Yeah, where that is fish in a barrel. Fish in a fucking... How are you missing? Okay. Why yeah, so are you going to work? What? <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. What are you trying to split? Are so oh, gonna get them to shoot each other? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, they are. No. No. Oh, dark no, saber. Oh. Oh. The penetrator dark is. Saber. Wow. Not even the dark saber can get through. Man, these shields, oh. fucking hell. What are they made of? Why are the robots not shooting them? We need to harness yeah, this technology. I saw that. Yeah, I noticed. This is the shittiest fight scene I've ever seen this in is, my life. We're pretending that the enemies aren't right in front of you trying to kill you. Hello? Oh, are they missed! How are they missing? Can you protect the others? I can distract them for a spell. You don't have to distract them, just... They'll miss you, I'm, I you promise. You know, making them shoot each other is actually a much more interesting way to defeat them than whatever the hell we're doing right now. I assume that's what they were doing. Oh, bye. How is it missing? Wait, how are, how are they still really being bad. chased? How are they behind cover already? It's not working. Whoa. Where they, oh, that one is really far oh, away. Oh, it's gone. Wow. Guys, oh, turn, turn a fucking back. corner. Oh, turn a corner. How are you missing? Game turn up. a corner. It how many times working. are you going to show us that's not working? Firearms do not work. He's trying to figure that. Oh, wait, what's that? <laughs> you can flump his shield with electricity. Man, imagine oh, if the no, it didn't kill him. With these, it just walked off. Ran out walking off. Guys. Oh, does it not care to off. shoot him? Where did they come from? How did they get? What oh my <laughs> god, this is fucking hell. Oh, so good. <laughs> what are they doing? Are these actors was, not embarrassed? That was so embarrassing. Oh my god. How? Never Jesus again, Christ, please. the plot armor! It's actually. Uh, yeah, I guess we haven't been coming. Like, everybody should be dead by now. Oh, Several super dead. Oh, you're here. She, she did not bring Baby Yoda uh, to a fucking war zone. You did not bring fucking Grogu. You don't hear the fucking gunfire! Yeah, I can't hear you over here, the gunfire! I wonder what you're saying! Yeah. What should I run away from? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Baby Yoda's gonna save the day. Yeah, I got the feeling it that's gonna happen. Again and again and again and Whoops. again. Can't hit anything. How is it gonna keep up with it? How could either robot Why keep up with either target? It? Yeah, but how could even how could the one chasing the people do it? Why did you do that? Why would that Why not make it upset? be going as fast as possible? There's no way it's keeping up. Live? How is this are possible? Still running in a straight how, line how are they the keeping city? up? <laughs> Guys, just it's turn a corner. They all just walk in the same direction, like. Well, it's got like explosive I... rounds, so that's not gonna do anything. What is she doing, holding her gun like that? I Look love how they just continuously. Do anything. Why, Why are, you are you shooting, shooting? at it? There's no point. It doesn't do anything. Sling it over your shoulder and run for your life. They're all like doing it like they're aiming specifically for parts. It's like it doesn't work. We have to stop retreating. We need to dig in here. If we fall back any further, we'll be cornered with no cover. 
it's a city. You can just However, go around. However, it doesn't matter. It can't hit you. Yeah, she. It, you there, there is no dead end. You can just go forever. Keep turning yeah. fucking yeah. corners. So what if they throw a grenade? You're dead. What if they throw a grenade? Hold the you're line. Dead. It's been true for most of the action scenes. Snipe it down. Hold the line. Tanti, we need a cycler. Good luck. Wait, why, why would the laser? Why I, would I don't the laser know why. I guess we'll find she out. She says she wants a sniper is down she one up there, but the shield is all around. I don't know what the fuck the plan. I don't. Know. Are they not in the clear? Oh my god, he's actually here. Oh my god, did you hear that reaction? What? He was like, what? what? Fuck me, you can act, man. I know you can. Okay, little guy. I'm happy to see you too. But uh. I am surprised that we got resolution on this right That's now, so. Just a puppet! No, no, okay, so now when you watch Book of Boba Fett <laughs> Season 3, he'll just have Baby Yoda back, even though the last season ended with him leaving him. <laughs> Do you mean Mando mm -hmm. Season 3? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is it- how is it still How shooting? is it still keeping up with them? How? How? It's just it's just with you? It's, it's going at, like, why? half a mile per hour. Why are you shooting it? It doesn't do anything. You need to be keeping your head down and driving in diagonals. Wait, did Baby Yoda just kill oh, the droid? Broke. I'm not sure. It looked like it, but I don't think that's what they were going <laughs> for. How did the droid die? It just got shot, I guess? I guess it got I, shot it for just... a thing. Didn't look like Stop that was How is it right it? next to them already? I don't know. Look how so it slow. Them all. Shoot, them. Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot, Shoot. them with your gun! Shoot. 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 Shoot with your gun! Oh, oh. the Rancor. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, oh just no! Rancor and kill it, right? Yeah. It's wait, 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 wait! You telling me Boba Fett went off to go get the Rancor and didn't get and then Slave came One? Back. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! You are he fucking came kidding with the me, right? Rancor, not Slave One. What? Why does the robot? So the robot's just gonna kill it, though. It's yeah, just gonna shoot it and that's kill it. Shooting that's it. an easy kill. An animal. There's a reason that, like in warfare, you don't see. I see your armored truck, but I present Have a you a <laughs> This is easy. So it's just gonna kill him. Why is this robot so just bad at it. aiming? Just, it's, it's still so standing big. target. It's what is huge. this? How are you missing a rancor? How do you miss a rancor? <laughs> yeah, it's absolute insanity. Stop, don't what stop shooting. What are you doing? Shoot. How is it missing? <laughs> what? what? It's what? right in front of you. Like, you can't miss. <laughs> why did the shield- why, why did hitting the shield flip that thing over? Oh, now is your it's, chance. The back of it is weak? I don't. This is back so it's bad. Weak. It's going all red. Like, what? You stupid dark saber. Fuck it's off. just shooting the, the Rancor's fine. Just kill the Rancor. It's still... Why are you not killing it's the, the idea Rancor? That when you apply more pressure at the front, the shield has to work harder at the... Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, why'd you... F you could have just chopped the legs, but okay. Why is it not Man shooting? Why isn't it shooting? Why isn't Mando doing know. anything? Mando. Oh, yeah, it can it shoot. Oh. Oh, oh, wow, okay. look at that. Well, that was easy. <clears throat> wow, hey, I would have started If with we that. have a war, it's gonna destroy the city. Not like this Rancor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it, Patrick. We <laughs> saved the city. <laughs> oh, landing what on that backpack. That must be painful. Yeah. Well, if he'd been fucking faster. Yeah, there oh, there we go. Oh, that oh, looks... Dude, dude that's like you fucking Team America-level puppetry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, crush it. Comparison yeah. on screen, rest yeah. to it. How is Baby Yoda powerful enough to do anything? It had like a day of training with Luke, it's fine. Wait, you, wow. oh, are you fucking kidding me? It, the the one place it went for was How his armor. How did it armor. not crush his leg yeah. though? That would have crushed his leg anyway. Do these people not understand what force is? Like, no. not that force, the other they, they force. They think that Death Guard saved you from falling off a cliff. How are you that strong? Whoa, that must have... That was that have you. Still Why you, was Mando though. not moving at all, by the way? Okay. Yeah, what? just shoot, shoot him. him. Shoot him. What? Uh, how, wait, why oh, did no, you, the you went? You back. went off to the left, and then you came back from the right. Oh, hang on. How, how many minutes did we spend just fucking around with these two droids? Like twenty minutes on the scene. Oh, oh we're still not done. The other one's left. Yeah. Do it. God, this is so embarrassing. This is. You have all these resources, and you can't make anything. Oh, oh yeah, see, this is now. still happening. Oh, that wall looks like yeah. a match for that kind of fire, yeah. Why are you sticking your head out the top? Use that your thing explosives. is invincible. Explosive stuff. Blow up the walls. Why are those explosives made out of? Why are those arbitrary what is this fucking stuff line? Made out of? What are you doing? You don't have to zoom in. What was, yeah, the, yeah, what was the point of uh, that? What? <laughs> you can see them just anyway. Just yes, bionic eye thing. 
What are you doing? No, that's how you get shot in the face. That's, yeah. Can you pick off some of the fighters? I'm used to desert hunting. Wow. Did one get just looked at the book? Uh, what oh, are you okay. guys doing? I that can't was... miss it this range. Turning out the open. The desert, the wait, open. desert hunting means that at close range you're more accurate? I have no fucking clue what that meant. No, it's so still they're just at waiting you. for you to stick your head up again and they'll shoot you. Oh, we just get the other. Okay. It's Rancor. Okay. Oh, we now. saved the city, We Patrick. saved the city. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> did it. Oh, they ran away. I probably would have too if I saw a Rancor. That's, it's that's... gonna come out, and they're gonna have to fight yeah. again. I want to ride to Rancor, and here we go. But I wasn't already tired of watching these fucking morons defeat these stupid robots. How is it alive? Wait a after minute! That? Shooting it hurts it. That's a crazy what? idea. How Save strong is that exactly? That building, or? How is it missing? How is it missing? It's missing so many times. Okay, that Its works. legs are more accurate than its guns. <laughs> it's dead. Just it's gotta be shooting. dead. Keep How shooting. Keep it? shooting. It, it, it had a it had a little plate in front of his belly. Oh, I think. it had some metal on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've been shot in the arm it, and it, it didn't got do best. shit all. Uh, I can't tell. Guys, if the shield is gone. You can start shooting it now. Yeah, though, though this will be the time. You can to shoot use it, all actually. your guns to shoot it. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, Star Wars fans are probably cooming, I guess. Because of Rancor. I... <sighs> Yay, we won the battle. What a fucking stupid thing to have chosen to do, and the only reason you won is because none of the robots could shoot suddenly. I can't believe the reins yeah. are attached to a nose ring. Yeah, uh, we won. just got them to shoot each other earlier. So oh, where's, um, yeah. Where's Cad Bane, then? You were holding an infant, dude. Where Put is it? Cad Bane? No, that's fine. Yeah. Is he gonna have a Rancor, well, Maybe too? don't hold the infant in this situation. <laughs> I am not a threat. Get behind me, pretty face. Come oh no, are they gonna be a th Oh no. Why would you leave cover to be behind her? It's broken. What? You don't need that, to destroy oh the city more. Odd. Oh, that was that not was necessary. necessary. We really <laughs> saved the city. How are the blasters not really hurting that Rancor, Dude, honestly? Rod. I don't know why they're even trying. Why bother? You cannot win. The show they're will not allow you there. to. Yeah. What was the point of that? Oh, more destruction. Oh, uh, well, I'm And they did the scream! He was lying! Oh. Okay. Oh, no, it's Cad Bane. <laughs> Where have you oh, been, no. my dude? Cad Bane is gonna kill the Rancor with a pistol shot. Well, nothing him, works, so I don't understand what he's gonna use. Okay, we'll just so, shoot so, him with your gun. Oh, what, you, okay. have, you have a chest oh, pack. Okay. Why did you throw your gun away? What if the Wait. Rancor just swipes them? He's dead. Oh, no, oh okay. It's afraid. I, I guess it's leaving. I it's leaving. Fire. It's it's fucking off. I wonder how I wonder how many innocent civilians it's gonna kill. I guess it doesn't. Back yeah. Yeah. It does It doesn't care about its peer bonded father. No. Yeah. Cad Bane, you are surrounded by dozens of people. I don't like fire. You're you on your own. This. Why has he got his gaffy stick? Does he? Yeah, he's never had that attached to his armor before, has he? Uh, I guess he's gonna fight. I don't know. What's your angle? Obtuse. That was a good response, right? See, thank you very much. But he just said, I'm very what's proud your of that, angle? actually. Because Cad Bane's just like us. No fucking clue why Boba's doing any of this. Does Cad Bane think he can kill all of them? He's probably got like a dozen rifles pointed at him right now. He probably thinks he's still in episode six. He doesn't realize the plot armor's gone for him now. You are an old man. I'm still faster than you. It may be, but I have armor. I'll Let's just shoot where your armor out. isn't? Yeah, just uh, Cad Bane can do I'll something revolutionary and shoot him where his armor isn't. That'd be so satisfying you... if he just fucking killed Boba. Oh, yeah. Please kill him. Keep, oh, shooting. Keep, shooting. Keep, shooting. keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Get off to your back to Keep shooting, please. This is my city. <laughs> oh, oh, no, my flamethrower. Oh, we're doing great. Just keep shooting him. Just don't stop. Shoot, shoot him in the legs. Keep, shoot him again. Use your knee rockets. Shoot him again. Shoot, shoot, shoot him. Wait, why does Boba has another a new rocket on his back? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's, he restocked. Hit him with the. Oh, Cad, you're getting why too is close, he so buddy. Weak from that? He's getting too How's close. He so weak? He's been shot twice. Where's his friends? They're all gone. Where's everyone else? Everyone's dead. Are they gone? <laughs> Fucking. They can't yes. be gone. Oh, he's gonna he's lose. Gonna knee rockets and shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in the face. Look out for yourself. 
Anything else is weakness. Blam, he gets shot in the back. Oh, he's giving up. Oh no, I guess he wow. isn't. Oh, oh there's a uh, stick from okay. the top. Win with the stick. If only he had yeah, at least he has a stick. This is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't anything. That's you just won. Oh. Uh, oh, his face uh, is funny. He's doing mm. funny faces. He he really does look like Crypto from Destroy All Humans. They, Are people upset that this is how Cad Bane dies? I was about to say, oh, they I just killed Cad Bane? Was that's, that was yeah. lame as fuck. That was that the was lamest evil. shit I've ever seen. What is this? What are these shots? We keep cutting like between weird different angles. <laughs> another yeah. one. <laughs> oh wow, another one. I don't care this that really he's dead. It really feels like an amateur pro Like, what the fuck is this angle? Like, <laughs> <laughs> His hat didn't even blow away like a tumbleweed. Those crossfades look so... Also, oh, look, the rat goes running oh, around look, today. Did you catch his line? He said something like, um, you know, you should be alone, only look out for yourself. Rancor is on the loose. The death is just trying to eat the Curly blasters will fuck that thing up, right? Oh, wow. wow. Oh my god! Wow. Jesus. Wait, so is the like Rancor the final them. boss of this episode now? Um, you're not in charge. Seriously though, oh, on like a crawling up Kong the here. tower. It's King Kong. Yeah, there's there's your Long Kong coverage right there. <laughs> I can't wait for the biplanes to start circling. Oh my god, we're really doing Kong. Yeah. <laughs> it's just King what Kong. is this? Keep him safe. Here. What? Okay. Now here, it's my we're doing nom. this now. What's he gonna do? do? Hey, Rancor, please no. stop. Oh, so what, this, what is this gonna do? It's just gonna grab no, you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. Right. Oh, I, that makes sense. Oh, so he's dead. Oh, you're dead. He's just oh, dead. You're fucking Bro. dead. You just, you're you, dead. <clears throat> think of the force needed to crash him through that. He's don't dead. Worry, don't worry, kid. Your old man's crafty. <laughs> <laughs> what are these sound effects? <laughs> what was that? He's crafty. He's wearing a helmet. Wow, he's really lucky it didn't bite him at the seam. Keep doing it. Keep doing that fire thing. He's oh, fine. He's fine. You he's gotta fine. be dead. He's fine. Don't Eventually, you're gonna die. He's fine. Okay. Oh, fucking baby will save him. Yeah. Oh, it really cares about Mando. How did? How? How? Uh, how? Wow, you're negligent. She was shitting her pants. She okay, didn't notice this. This doesn't work because she doesn't know what Baby Yoda can do, so she would immediately run to try and save him. Otherwise, she doesn't care about him. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like she's running in that situation. No, it was closer than now. Now it's a bit late because the rankle's right there. Yeah, yeah. Do like, like your little play thing. Force music. Everyone's force ex machina. It. No, it's like when uh, Anakin did it in in Attack of Clones. Remember? No, it's like when Ray did force heal on the worm. That's what. It's going no, to fuck that. Anakin had like <laughs> Anakin calmed down the three horned beast. Jay, that's a better reference. No. How did Baby Yoda learn how to do this? Uh, this is really good. He was taught course. it probably because he was did he taught just everything. Do it? Right? Remember, Luke said he's he's remembering more than I've even taught him. Oh, did he give it a brain aneurysm? Oh, I guess he did it to the <laughs> mud horn, kind of, and just crushed it. Well, no, he lifted that fucker up in the air. True, but that knocked him out, if you remember. Sort of, and then Mando stabbed it. No, no, no. I mean, it knocked out Baby Yoda. Oh yeah, but this is but he had a day of training. Right. Right. He jumped on some rocks on a stream. I'm guessing there's not gonna be a barbecue. Um, no. People hey, are Fett? gonna be very where's upset. Boba Fett's pet? Oh, he's gone to sleep. How cute. And then we showed this. Okay. And that's a weird <laughs> cut, yeah. <laughs> the syndicate forces have pulled back from Mos Espa. Yeah, something bizarre happened. All of our people died. I don't really know how. <laughs> Half of my men were either shot or eaten by a rancor. Is that what you call hospitable? Oh, they were shooting Stop. already, so... <laughs> oh my goodness, the guards are dead. Yeah, my order- my first order of business is this guy would be to leave this place gun? right away. <laughs> what was that edit? Where are those shots what coming from? They're indoors! Where are they uh, coming little from? Windows. The roof? Little tiny windows. <laughs> little tiny windows for little <laughs> tiny fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> How are you strong enough to... <laughs> Oh, oh he's my dead. god. Oh my god, you wow. hung him. You hanged wow, him. you hung him and yep. you broke its neck? Can you even do that to that creature? I guess so. Is this Jeez, like a okay. group of people or one person? Yes. I don't even know. Wait, from behind? What? 
Oh, uh, where how are did you, you pull? Where, oh, yeah, where were you actually? She used teleporting trick. Ah. Uh. I guess She's the not in shot. She thing can't. on oh, top was, was thing that open. She was doing, right, okay. Because she was doing nothing else. Oh, that's the. Oh, that music was weird. Yeah, that was weird. That whole all of all of this has been so weird. This whole episode's been bizarre. This has been fucking bizarre. Was that the war? Are we are we done? Yeah, I guess we're I, done. I guess we After are. math time. Yeah. They're gathering. They're dead. It's time for Boba to appreciate the work he's done for this wonderful community. Look at him smile. Yeah. He's so smiling. Thank, Thank you for now. destroying Thank you so my much home. For saving our town from those spice runners. By the way, was that rank or <laughs> yours? Thank goodness there's no spice on these streets anymore as he's yeah, holding a piece of rubble. We should take a nice soak in the back to tank. It's being used. That's all you do is soak in a fucking back to tank. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be unusual for Wow. Him. He's been shot twice okay. by a blast. He's wheeled barrows. better than shooting. How is that there's building still standing? <laughs> Here we found we managed to find a little bit of food in the rubble to feed our <laughs> starving uh, orphans. It's my it's my it's my it's my sister's arm. She was killed in the <laughs> in the rubble in the collapsing building. It's all we found of her. Man, it would have been crazy if they had drawn the battle to the uh, the palace. You know, that would have been a really bad idea, huh? Yeah, yeah. it would have been really bad if some of the palace took some damage. Oh, don't show these guys again. They cringe. It's sad that they survived, but here we are. It really is. He didn't even bite it. Mando music? It's still all there. Wait, I thought Chrysanthemum was the one in the back to tank. He just said. Oh yeah. They have a rubble cleaning droid. That's who's, useful. Uh, who's in the? Maybe Mando. Did was Mando he, get injured? But Mando wasn't injured. Yeah, Boba was it. Well, I guess man. Oh, uh, do we get a shot so. with Grogu oh, in the little yeah. dome thingy? So in the so what if Grogu has yep. to take a shit in that little thing? Yep, Too there bad. is. Oh god. Oh, that looks bad. It does look bad. No, don't break it. You think it. he's gonna get claustrophobic in there? Like, legitimately have a panic attack? It was fucking Being stupid, stuck in there it? for days? It's so stupid compared to how it could have been. Alright. But this is the last time. Oh my god! There's not inertial oh dampeners god. in there? We've really reset. Mando is gonna hang out with Baby Yoda for another yep. season. Did they say Boba Fett? Is that what he's saying? Oh, oh they, they are saying Boba saying Fett. Fett. Are they saying yeah. Boba Fett? No, they're saying hum to dum hum to dum 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 hum to dum uh, Looks so much better here because he's got the gray on instead of the black. Mm. The they are saying out. Boba Fett! Oh my god, they are. Oh, Boba, yeah, Boba, right. Boba Fett. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you think that's Boba, treated Boba, as like the music had an arc? <laughs> 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 that's comical. That is that is comedy gold. Oh god, this was bad. This is embarrassing. This is the funniest comedy of 2022. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be anywhere near as what funny if you happening? didn't know the people Matt tried. Barry! That's how you know it's a comedy. It's got Matt Berry in it. You said that like you were shocked. You know Matt Berry was. I was just excited to see it, the name of an actor I like a lot. Yeah. Skywalker, Luke Skywalker. Did you put blue Yoda, guy Yoda, into the, Yoda, the Yoda, back Yoda, tank? Yoda, Yoda. Oh, that might be it. Actually, he put Cad yeah. Bane in the back to fuck. Cad Bane, Cad Bane, Cad Bane. <laughs> oh, no. Cad, Cad Bane, Cad Bane. Rags has been Cad broken Bane, by Bane, the music. Bane, Cad Bane. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. R Rags is trying to recover from all of this. I understand. This has been garbage. <laughs> Rancor, 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 Rancor. <laughs> oh my god, no. Ah! Is it Cad Bane? Is it? it gotta be, I don't know who Cad else. Cad Bane. Cad Bane's what if it's Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan in the fucking back to tank. <laughs> <laughs> he was on there and fell. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's Cobb. Oh, it's Cobb. Uh, That's oh, the stupidest thing okay. Cad Bane. It's corn over Cobb. Oh, it's the, it's the, um, the mod guy, right? Yep. Wait, oh, so... I'm gonna give you, an, I'm gonna give you a robot stomach. <laughs> So he yeah, got shot lighter. without. Is that it? That means they brought his body injured to the, but to the palace. Remember, yeah. it was news so to that... Boba Fett that this had happened when they arrived in the battle. Yeah, but yeah. you know, so... stuff. Well, there was no one at the palace. They could have just waltzed in and did whatever they want. You're right. There would have been no one at the palace. How did they know there was <laughs> back no tank at the palace? I don't fucking whatever. That was the end. We did it. Man, that was horrible. Oh my right. god. Is that Guys. the worst of the three seasons, or what, what are we looking at? Yes. Guys, what? Yes. Yeah.
I, yeah. I oh feel like it I think I think it's literally impossible to choose another one because they ruined Boba Fett and Luke Skywalker again. Yeah, again. They ruined him again, oh, yeah. a second time. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck was that? This is insane. What did we just watch? It was so bad. What the hell that were their ideas? One of the worst things we're gonna I've create. Ever seen in my life. Like this is just a basic lesson in stakes. We create big things and large amounts of people because then the audience will be like, "Oh no, how will our heroes survive?" But then we make them inept and they can't aim and they don't shoot. Like, well, well then why would we care? This yeah. film, uh, this thing, cr cr thing, this structure, it. Real, I've never seen plot armor like this. This is nuts. This, this is just nuts, a yeah. flat out refusal of enemies to have basic aiming and just shoot, not even aiming, just shooting. It just won't shoot. Standing it's a, out in the open. Yeah, they just wouldn't shoot. All of the pipes stand out in the open. And whenever, whenever they do shoot, one, they miss dramatically every time. Out. Episode one, those droidicas roll up. The first ones roll up. They deploy, shields pop, and they just pew, 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 and they just don't stop. They just don't fucking stop shooting. The Jedi shooting. run away. And then the Jedi are like, oh, we gotta run away because this is bad news. And now we have super mega droidicas <sighs> who just refuse to shoot. They will not do it. Can you believe it? And they it? cannot hit these just the blatant targets running right in front of them. Yeah. And also, these things can even teleport too, apparently. I was about to you, say that too. <laughs> you're talking about that when we spent, like, before those even existed in this episode, we spent ages watching Boba and Mando just keep getting shot in their armor over and over and over and over and over and mm. over and over and over. And they're trying to make it like this dramatic thing. It's like, no, they're just, just falling like, over, like bumbling idiots. Season like, 2, episode 6, same exact thing. Do you remember when Mando got shot like 20 times in the yeah, middle of the fight, matter. but didn't change anything? anything it's just like why even bother they're just indestructible he could be crushed through buildings the, that that okay. fucking robot steps on his leg like crushes his leg but it's fine because he's got beskar a beskar yeah, plate like, on the fr for, on the top for some reason stepping on beskar like makes it lance off instead of just crushing his leg underneath the weight of, and then yeah getting thrown through buildings like the beskar should have gone straight through his leg into the sand with the weight of that robot and it just doesn't because no. Yeah. At what point do we just how 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 at what point is it too stupid? At what point is it so stupid would, that you just like would, snap I would, I would out of it? I would posit that you shouldn't feel embarrassed if you like this. You should be embarrassed if you like this because you think it's smart. That's, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, like it's so because, yeah, yeah, it's so absurd that you could like how stupid it is. Yeah, yeah, I had fun. Um but oh, I, because, I kinda had fun. As I was yeah. saying earlier, only under the knowing that people intended this to be dramatic and interesting like that's what's making it so funny because it's just so badly done i i think i burped and inhaled that was weird um so no luke skywalker he sent he sent grogu here in a taxi and thank goodness he did because grogu apparently has the jedi force training and power necessary to tame a rampaging rancor and to Prevent Pull a death metal from, pieces. Yeah. I can't imagine the sheer raw strength it takes to pull a piece of metal from the inside of a, a machine like that. I don't I don't think that Obi-Wan could do that. I don't think Yoda could do that. I don't think any Jedi has the um the, has the power necessary to pull a mechanical piece out of that like the the whole the, the thick ass metal piece from that leg. One of the last things Cad Bane says to Boba is like, "Let this be my final lesson that um you should always be in it for yourself, otherwise like you'll never make it or something like that." So like if that sums up Cad Bane that he's only ever selfishly in it Reality for himself is and your stuff. Flaw. Like, don't you want the demise of him to be connected to Boba Fett having friends, not he just hits him with a stick? Yeah, because there was there was a one on one. So, like, I I assume that's what you would want to do. It's like Cad Bane is like having friends is shit, and then he's like, nah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. He's like, no ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked. So Cad Bane uses his flamethrower, and that makes the Rancor so fucking terrified that it runs away. And Mando uses a flamethrower inside of its fucking mouth, and it's and just it like, oh, Dude, that Rancor is please, gonna be so Please don't do that. Yeah, imagine just breathing fire. <laughs> I don't see how the Rancor isn't dead a dozen times over. Oh well, oh, the thing well. is that this was Rancors are big, which means they're indestructible wrecks. That's how they're really works. hard targets. Yeah, as well, we should probably have mentioned that they made the Rancor immune to just everything. That's, That's the only way it works. 
They made it more immune to damage than the, like, super advanced droids with magic shields. By the way, yeah. remember what killed the Rancor in Episode 6? Oh, yeah, Return Game of the Jedi. Head. A door fell with on spikes, it. spikes, yeah. And, but this Rancor, who's a, a juvenile, apparently, can just absorb what essentially is tank laser shots and blaster fire, well, and it could see, go through buildings. Rex, what you don't understand is that a door falling on you, that's a lot more uh, thats a lot more force than um, a tank shell. You just need to learn this kind of stuff if you want to I, I guess media. I do. It's embarrassing that you don't know that. The door was heavy and big, I love Rex. that part where one of the robots finally shoots it once and it falls into a building. It's like, yeah, maybe if you just like tried that a couple times, you'd win. That You know? I don't know. But then when we shoot oh, the also, ro robot one time, and then it's like, oh, that clearly doesn't work. And they um, shoot it again. It's like, oh, that clearly doesn't work. And then it's like, okay, let's try that a thousand more times. So. I guess Mando mastered the, the sword. It didn't look very heavy, at least. He, no. was, uh, he was swinging in a lot in that first fight. I think they were trying to make it look like it was hard for him when he was using it against the droid the first time. I think they were trying to make it look like he was struggling with it. This whole episode, man, it's just like so much garbage. I remember it was, a, when it was like a condensed nugget of shit. I, yeah, it, it, really, it wasn't that condensed. It was like really it, overextended. God, it, it was felt just, like a three-hour fight scene. Yeah, like three things mm. actually happened, but it it was literally just they show up, they fight, and then they win, right? But we have an extended sequence where there are these two droids that it takes them like a year to kill. Yeah, nothing about it's clever. So why the hell do I care? Because it's just a matter of waiting for them to fall over, really. Yeah, that's what the fights are: is people shooting and then other people falling over, and there is absolutely no care or attention that is paid to cover, or positioning, or good aim, or just. And there's no semblance of tactics and strategy. This weapon doesn't mean anything compared to this weapon. It's all the same. I've played a lot of like shooters. Anything that could make combat with guns interesting has been stripped out of this show. Oh, yeah. And it oh, sucks. Just... And it's not even just guns, man. We're dealing with all kinds of awesome weaponry, and they just, they just fumble it. Everything. The people that they hired to try and kill the black chrysanthemum is are the are as a bunch of little weak people with knives yep and sharp sticks and they they try to bum rush him instead of sending the guns after i i you just can't have, have even one begin. sniper aim for his head while he's just looking I, around exactly Boom. yeah that's the thing one shot will kill him all you have to do is just shoot him in the head and he's just standing there out in the open just have one guy who's behind him just shoot him in the head and, remember, and that's remember, that. There is a guy who ambushes him from behind, but he, he hits him with a stick. Yeah, he hits him with a <laughs> stick and it doesn't do anything. Where Boba gets a stick, it's like 45, 45. That's like unironically 15 cuts in a span of like five seconds. With him and Cad Bane? Yeah. It goes like, that was Jesus Christ, you're right. They, 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 they it's did insane. like a thousand crossbows. What even is happening? Cad Bane being dead. Wait, wait, hang on. I just want to look at this frame by frame. He like lifts up his arm and gets shot. In the armor, question mark? Yeah, I guess... And the then, like, plate. manages to swipe that whole stick past him enough to hit the gun out of his hand. That's what they want yeah. us to think happened. Then he spins, because he's super cool. And I guess hits him, yep, yeah, in, in the belly. And then grabs up his leg. And then the next pistol comes out. He grabs it off him with a stick. Right, that that was absolute cancer to watch. I've seen people saying uh, more so this one than the others that the directing has been really crap, and it's just like it seems I'm like glad it's just, eventually you notice. <laughs> it's just rushed as fuck. It does feel rushed as fuck. Hey, chat! Right now, those in chat who like Cad Bane, was this satisfying for you? Man. Fucking hope it, not. Oh, Cad, oh, it was <laughs> so is good. Cad Bane canonically an idiot loser who monologues before he gets stabbed by a stick? I mean, he definitely was. He a definitely guy who did that before. Like, he totally was a guy who monologued before. His voice was everything he said was like he he had the edgy voice. That was the most. Edgy he did thing have the it. ultra edgy voice. He's mega edge. If he went I'm around talking going like a to talk for a while. Yeah, if you went around just like talking in the, maybe you know in the same accent, but just like a normal person would talk with that accent, it's like I would be a lot more receptive to his design. Overall, He's on the I phone. He's no, you stupid computer! I said customer service representative. <laughs> he shows up at the end of episode six and then dies. Episode seven. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. If we've been honest here, he should have been here from episode one. They could have established anything about him over the first four episodes, or hell, even the first six. 
Fuck that. Make yeah, him the villain. Cause... Make him the main villain. Make him... Because yeah, as it stands, he's just he's just a guy who shows up. Or super weird for us, because like, we're close to having zero additional context, or close enough yeah. anyway. So it's just, like, to... it just comes across as cringe to us instead of the way it's supposed to, which is like, oh, it's so fucking cool. I'm sure yeah. if we'd watched The Clone Wars, we wouldn't think he was cringe. He's probably not dead. <laughs> it's uh. like, you stabbed me in my mechanical heart. <laughs> no, Luckily, I went one. to the mod shop guy and he gave me a mechanical yeah. stir. They are loving that they've introduced that, aren't they? They're like, haha, we don't have to kill anybody ever now. No one can ever die. They'll be here no forever. Really Man, I'm really happy that Mayor That's Assistant right. Guy is still alive. And he was my um, favorite character. Remember how with Vader surviving, he was like, he was severely burned, but like, yeah. The emperor, it took the Emperor's, like, personal facility to save his life. And then he fucking, he was, like, forever, like, he could only live outside of his life support in, like, a special bubble. And he he had, like, a permanent respirator and all that shit. You know, remember that? Well, now you can you just have some guy give you a mechanical stomach. But let me ask you this. In the history of fiction, has any character actually been killed by vaporization three times? Probably. We have hit a new bottom... I feel shell shock. This was it was, awful, it was guys. Really bad. It was it was really bad. This was off. This well, is worse than I ever hey, imagined. Look. Hey, but at least we can look forward to what's next. Oh, yeah. oh boy! It's I remember when I remember movie. when Disney Star Wars was new, and I was hyped at the prospect of this show. <laughs> <laughs> How do those even looking, aim? Do you just do the left? No, there's in this. The, the left hand down. makes it really funny to me yeah. as well. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, so I just wanted to, these are these are some post episode memes. I figure I can. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna cheer me up. I'm sure. We just oh, watched man. the 58 minute meme. So we did. Here's number one. Check that out. Okay, these two characters are actually interacting, and it feels like a fucking dream. Hashtag the Book of Boba Fett. Who are they even talking about? I think it's Boba Fett and Cad Bane when they're like. But they've yeah. all interacted before, haven't they? In the well, not Boba. in live action, so. Yeah. He then says, I am just sitting here in absolute fucking shock. Hashtag the book of Boba Fett. Well, on that, we agree. Yeah. With I, the, too, yeah. am sitting here in absolute fucking say, shock. I am a little bit shocked. That was really bad. I wasn't shocked by how bad it was. I was just like, yeah, that, you know. That I wasn't expecting to show Luke Skywalker again. That did come out of left field. Because I, I, they had the perfect vehicle like, to <laughs> have Luke Skywalker meet Boba Fett, which is what I thought they were going to do. Doing, um, doing shit but, like we could go in the fortress to defend ourselves or we could stay in this ruin. Let's stay in the ruin. So stuff like that, I'm like, are you fucking, Mahler, really? And they didn't even stay in the ruin. Yeah. <laughs> they went outside of They the didn't ruin. even right. do it. Oh, flanks are covered. Like, okay, good job. They didn't even Why do must it. you torture us this way? Why also, do you even what? need a place? To, the only people who died were the fucking guards. The two green guards. The, the... <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they <laughs> no, 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 just, like... No, no, a bunch of mod people died, too, too but live, nobody with names. Oh, they'll be yeah. back in the next no, none episode. Of the, none of the ones with an actual on-screen bike in one of the four main... Yes colors yes. that exist yeah. it'll be retcon to or something they'll land it on something soft but and um, so they'll be okay that last tweet is the one that really gets me the i haven't reached the fucking title card and i'm completely losing my shit it's like god damn who is this ugh. joker well there's a lot of these Leto. i didn't like this meme you actually Wait, I, a better one. I will now show you a meme that is representative of the current star wars community i'd like to thank the person who brought star wars back for the new and old fans alike to enjoy and it's like sit down jj we ain't talking about you we're talking about dave filoni oh, of course god oh, no he's a joker god. it's like oh. no <laughs> one of the most embarrassing like force awakens isn't that like embarrassing it's bad Bad, but I don't find it embarrassing. Dude, it takes. Like, yeah, this is one you of the to, most to, embarrassing. You have to dig around to seen. find the flaws of TFA a little bit. You have to do a little digging. Yeah, it kind of hides it under just its simple. The sheer confidence of TFA almost can, it can blind you yeah. to how terrible God. it is. It's, like, it's I, so in confident the, in itself. In the level of embarrassment for each film, I think it is um, a consistent rising from um, TFA to TLJ to. Um, yeah, because Tross was right? very embarrassing. I'll agree with that. Like, and then I think this is more embarrassing than even Tross. I think you might oh, be right. Oh, yes, yeah. this is more embarrassing. I think that this is more embarrassing. So yeah, they're just sharing memes about how he's saving the entire franchise, which I was just blowing my mind, but check this one out. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Uh, Fringy, why don't you read this as though it's your own point of view, because I'm sure it would be. Okay. This is Fringy's actual opinion. Yes. Unpopular opinion, Star Wars is currently at its best since the original <laughs> trilogy. I like the Not pause counting, there. <laughs> yeah. Not counting the Rise of Skywalker, the other new movies, particularly Rogue One, The Mandalorian, 
Boba Fett and all the up. This is an interesting sentence. They haven't and even existed the, yet. Uh, all the upcoming series are truly the best Star Wars I've ever seen. <laughs> the way they're exploring new territory while also expanding on some of our favorite characters, I think is genius. Sure, we can nitpick some dumb choices made, like colorful speeders on Tatooine, but as a whole, it's really everything this can could ask for man that's a that's a easily you impressed know, can you know how happy i would be with the show if my biggest problem with it was that the speeders were too the bright colors too yeah. i'm telling you that's how that's how these Listen. people are that's what people just well, laser I think, in I think on it just, i think it confirms the disappointing thing which is that episode three was poorly received not because it was stupid but because of the bikes just we, the bikes because people don't fucking give a shit about writing. Yeah, like, the colorful bikes being colorful is what? Like, number 643 funny... on our list of issues? Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's I don't like meme. it. It's a funny it's not even it's, it's not even, like, wrong. No, it's just, well, it looks tacky. <laughs> yeah, it just looks weird. And I do, I, I feel like uh, that sentence of all the upcoming series are truly the best is, like, yeah. that's pretty telling of, I guess, the mindset. How can you like, not yeah. call well, this just, a consumer? Yeah, the shows that well, aren't out are I the best he's ever seen well i think i think it's just the standard problem that we see now with specifically like big ips it's always forward looking it's never really like what's happening now it's always speculation on the potential going forward like the idea of an obi-wan show is enough to make you like happy regardless of what it even is yep. sludge pipe sludge pipe sludge it pipe. is it, it is very much th th dude this is this is like sludge this whole show was just sludge setting us up for like the next thing and, and just getting it out there to make sure that there was a show on Disney Plus for this period of time to make sure that people retain their subscription. Feels like that's why the show exists and why it came out now, because it wasn't done. Clear like clearly rushed. There was no story. He had no, no story. No. Yeah, no. at and the last episode just... he just said, I'm good. The yeah. last episode did nothing for him. It was just We've expedited the character development to, okay, we got Boba Fett now, he's changed, the Tuscans changed him, and then he killed Cad Bane and rode a Rancor at the end. That's yeah. it. You it's saw me. how he made his look. stick, though. We did yeah. see how he, he made his lizards. stick. Really we weird. spent two fucking episodes with those goddamn Tuscan Raiders. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it three? Oh, two and a half, I guess. Sort of. I don't know. Two and a half. That's yeah, I don't, about like I don't want to remember. I missed the gun train. And it all amounted to fucking train. nothing. Someone posted this on the subreddit. It was a really big video, and it was basically just celebrating everyone's reactions to something that happened in this in this show. And I just wanted I plucked a few of them out because I was just so um, enthralled by them. So uh, oh if we just, you know, just let us show you guys this little video. Captain, Captain, Captain! Oh my God, it's oh. him! <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Oh I've never seen someone just, so just, clearly ask him to be turned into a soy jack. No, I, I don't, I don't, no, no, no. I, I, it's, it's played up. It has to be played up. It, like, surely, well, wait, wait, you want to think it, that, right? Do, do the whole thing and then have a commentary, right? Because there's a couple of these. Uh, are, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> He's got a... <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yo! Dude! Jesus dude. Christ. Oh my god, I can't believe he's in this Oh my god! Ugh. Are you kidding me? There's no way! <laughs> yeah, yeah! No! Does he have a Batwoman no man? Fucking way. <laughs> no way! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! What the hell? Oh my god! I think that is Con Bean! That's Con Bean! Oh wow, that's flipping the microphone. That's fucking Con Bean! Calm down, please. Call him Cod Bean. Cod Bean. Cod Bean! Yes, that's him! Ah, yes, Cod Bean, bro! And who might you be? It is. I like that the image is what cut the fuck is that hat? Ah! Guardians of the Galaxy. Shouldn't it be facing ah! the other way so oh other people can read it? Live action campaign. I want to hear his voice. God, they're just bringing everyone in. This is Filoni yeah. at his best right now. Holy oh, fucking man. shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, I don't damn. believe you're that excited. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is 
I have a hard time believing that. At the start of this compilation, I was like, yeah, you know, I could see us reacting this way. If if there were like five good seasons of a Star Wars show, I don't don't even think that. Amazing seasons of Star Wars. Nothing. I don't think. I don't know what it would take to make me react this way. I don't know. I don't think anything could do this. Well, there's an example in a. By the end. By the end of like, no, we'd never react to it or anything. There's an example in a in a certain really cool show that uh that has something similar. Right, but you don't react like this. When I didn't react. No, that's what I'm saying. Is I didn't react like this it was more like ooh. well you know, let's think back let's go to something we've all seen let's go to spider-man no way home when they yeah, introduced I mean, I, james I garfield and james toby james mcguire garfield. <laughs> yeah james james garfield and toby <laughs> mcclintock and, <laughs> and like i See, that's, that's, it's, it's the like context is important i as smiled well. Well, like, so, I was like, oh, hey, well, hey. A lot of people the, in my cinema cheered. Well, that's the thing. When, yeah, Matt, when Matt Murdock cheering, showed up, but... plenty of people in my cinema were already cheering, and I was, I was just smiling. Because that's, I guess... Yeah, I was, I was smiling, too. And some people were like, it's... oh, yeah, hey, yeah. But, this is the thing, though, right? Uh, like, because it's just this fundamental. Because we had to deal with this at the end of the last arc with Mando. It's not that people can't have fun, all right? It's never really been about that at all. It's that, um, first of all, let's just assume it's real for the sake of the, which I'm very I I'm happy to put into contention because like there's mm-hmm. an industry built so that you get more clicks and views the more you react right but if you yes. take it for what it is it's like a real happy reaction from fans that are just happy that their show is doing things that they want it's like yes but it sucks for the people who think that this is killing Star Wars like entirely as an IP yeah because of course if you see this as a writer after you just wrote that fucking pile of shit and you're like, whoa, people loved it. Wait, oh. next season we just need to get more. What did we say when we watched um, the end of season two? We were just like, they're gonna, they're gonna take the wrong lessons. Yep. They're gonna take the wrong yep. lessons. And, well, exactly what and the thing is, well, from a certain point of view, they've taken the right lesson because it worked. Well, that's like, the thing. How long can we call it the wrong lesson if, if the goal is well, to make money? Yeah, it, it, they're only doing what people are receptive to. And it seems like it is just cameos and, hey, look at that guy, isn't that cool? Look at him go. When people say, like, you you really just hate people enjoying things, huh? It's like, you do too. Trust me. There are things that people can enjoy that you will hate that they enjoy. I don't hate that these people are having fun. I just look at it and I'm like, they're gonna do this again now. They're gonna keep fucking doing this every time, Mm -hmm. every season, every episode will have a new cameo. I feel like episode 6 was better illustrating this than episode 7. Episode 6 was just, every 5 minutes it was a new cameo. And Mm -hmm. people would have gone nuts over it. It's like, do you fucking believe it? (laughs) When Darth Maul shows up again in live action, whether it be a movie or a TV show, whether it's the Obi-Wan series or not, people will go nuts. And I'm pretty sure that is where he's gonna show up up because uh, Obi-Wan and him fight in Rebels or Clone Wars or something when they're, they're both much they're older. So they're going to milk Darth Maul, probably. Yeah, and people will go nuts again. And there won't be a fucking story. There won't be characters. You won't need them. Yeah, we don't need them anymore. Just they just show up. It's, people just clap at the, the cardboard cutouts of what could be characters because they recognize the visual. And that'll no, be I, that. We could have some hope, maybe. For, like, for the Obi Wan show, maybe right, it's made by people good. who care. Maybe it's made by a different team. You know, on the bright side, with what we were talking about at the start of this video, though, with um, soon you'll be able to just fucking type your fan fiction script into um, an AI, and it'll be able to spit out a full live action version of it for you. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, that kills this shit. Because <laughs> when people can get, when people can type something into an AI and get all the fan service <laughs> they want, they're gonna get overexposed to it, and that'll stop them from caring. Fans of TLJ. Big fans of it hate this shit too, by the way. They're on like our team. Wow. And it's uh, interesting it. yeah. to look into it because well, yeah. the thing is, they like TLJ because it's like, and this, this is going to be the most controversial like, part of the video. Get ready. Uh, TLJ like oh, was boy. doing stuff with characters. It actually, oh, it was doing original. stuff with characters. It, it intended to arc people and develop them and grow them and have a point to make, yeah. which, by the way, is like neat. That's like a thing we want. Um, it failed at it though. That's it did the, really that's the badly at it. This show it is like not. It's not risking anything. It's like no, no, no. We it's have like, we have Boba Fett shooting people down. We have Mando shooting but, people down. This we thing have Soka it is. Up. It is. It just doesn't realize that that's what it's doing. Um, oh yeah, it's it accidentally Boba, done it with it Boba's Luke. character. Yeah, it fucks Boba. It fucks Luke. It just doesn't seem to realize that these like hefty changes. It's just like yeah, I changed my mind because like the people who were employing me, they were bad. Yeah, I'm also talking about like the biggest payoffs or all the stuff that the TLJ people were like. You guys just wanted a big shootout with giant yeah. robots. It's like yeah, and look how successful this is now. Apparently that so, was yeah, what most people the, wanted. The, 
the TLJ fans, this is the straw man that TLJ fans were saying that people who didn't like TLJ wanted instead. And look, we're um, still pissed. And we get and comments every once in a while of people being like, you guys will never be happy. And it's like, damn, these were our two choices? This was what's on the banquet table? These two? Someone saying that you will never be happy with anything is just such an explicit, I am coping. <laughs> I am coping with the fact that you don't, that you are not impressed with this. Because there's no way that I genuinely believe that you will never be happy with anything. But I just need a way, I just need an easy out to dismiss your criticism and the fact that you think it's bad. That's I still what, that, think, that's what um, anyone's saying was when they say that. I still think these will age like piss as well because like there's just nothing that attaches to your heart in this outside of really superficial shit you talk about it now but i don't think it's gonna have any enduring well do you think that legacy. let's say we get five mando seasons I mean, in total TLJ. and three boba seasons in total will people even be able to remember what happened in each one i don't know i think it'll be the same mm. problem that the mcu has had right where it's like what happened in ant-man and nobody knows nobody or knows. like what happened in mm. captain marvel and nobody knows they have a vague ask... memory of enjoying it but they can't tell you anything about it which is definitely not what i want out of the stuff that i like well let's take all of the the clown people that we just saw just cooming in their pants because they saw a cowboy right and just ask them if you could right after the show this episode ends it's like could you just give me a, a just a general overview of the plot of this show like what happens can you can you tell me about a couple characters thing, can you right? tell me about their traits well, maybe i so probably tell you say, what the okay. show idealizes itself to be they'd be like it's a really interesting crime show crime lord show with boba's trying to you know blow, they, they'll give you all the crap and you'll just be like give me they references. probably would say a crime lord show yeah. Well, the thing I was the thing I was thinking right was okay. So if we had seen, like, if Cad Bane was like actually the most interesting and nuanced character ever written in Star Wars, right? And none of us knew that because we'd just not seen the Clone Wars. But holy shit, that guy, really interesting character. Maybe I'd react that way. Maybe I'd react that way. That like you know, maybe not exactly that way. I'd probably be able to Wouldn't. control like myself, <laughs> but I probably would have a strong reaction to seeing him. And then I realized, but I'm seeing him in the Boba Fett show. I would be like, oh no, they're going to fucking ruin Cad Bane with these incompetent clowns. They've brought him, the most interesting character who I love so much into the show. So yeah, that's how I would react if I saw like my favorite character showing up here. Wait, I, I seriously can't optimism. believe Cad Bane fans would be happy with what just happened in this episode. No. That was embarrassing. I mean, it's the big concern with Kenobi, right? It's like, what are you gonna do? What are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to a, a, a lad? The, he managed to get through episode, three mate. prequel films and not be assassinated, so... Oh, no! Yeah, he was, yeah the biggest issue because... was just that he, he was as stupid as everyone else in that trilogy. We've reached a point where it's like, man, the prequels, it's like, at least there was something there. I was gonna say, he doesn't work, have you know, like, anywhere near as many instances of stupid in, in the prequels well, as because a lot of people do in any of the Disney be, shows. Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's relatively, yeah. Standard, he, you know? he does, he like, does some stuff that's just straight up like, we've, we've reviewed him, I've just been like, that was, yeah, that's normal that he yeah. decided to do that, <laughs> like, stuff like that, you know? There'll be people in chat who'll be like, yeah, you should bring back Lucas, like, no, that's just, let it die. Just let just, it it's die. It's time to stop. It's time to no, stop. No, you don't, look, uh, just decanonize Disney shit, right? That's the, that's the, and honestly, if they decanonize Disney stuff and they brought back Lucas and some other people to like say, okay, give it a shot. don't prequel it though, I'd be happy to give it a shot. Well, this yeah, point, I, I'm also, it. when I say let it die, it's because I know exactly what we're going to be getting, which is all this shit. But mm -hmm. ultimately, like, the really, the truth is just like, it would be cool to give Star Wars as an IP now to a lot of different creators and just let them come up with something until one of them strikes gold. Because Star Wars, you got so much potential, oh, but yeah. you keep fucking it. And people were blown away happy about this. It's so bizarre because, like, it's just such a joke to us. All of it's like a farce. Like, nobody would really make this, would they? And then everyone else is like, what do you mean? This is, like, some of the best content like a, we've had in ever. Well, it's like a nonsense show. It's not a story. I feel like I'm barely watching a story. It's just things happening for no rhyme or reason. And all in service of, well, what's next? Stay tuned. Welcome once again to a very uplifting episode of EFAP Mini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about how great Star Wars is doing right now. Balls. Thanks for watching. Remember when Mando fucking shot okay. his five flamethrower at the shield? That was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Like he it's did the like... thing with shields that Boba didn't do, but in this case it was stupid. It reminds me of a, you know what it reminds me of is um is the scene in the Simpsons movie of all of the characters trying to um destroy the dome. I can't take another minute in this dome! <laughs> and Ralph yeah. is blowing bubbles at it. <laughs> and it goes in his eye. Yeah, that's that's what that was. 
That's um, exactly what that was. Hey, hey, that was our Simpsons reference for the episode. Oh, thank fuck we you did that. that. Yeah. Holy shit, we <laughs> nearly went through the whole episode without a Simpsons. We were, I, I told Free we had to make sure we did that. So nice. Yeah. Bye, Rex. Rex did not like that. All right. That's a perfect ending. Thanks everybody. for watching, everyone. That was it Good. for the Boba Good. Fett arc. Bye. bye bye. We're bye. finally free of it. <sighs> hey, Frank. That was awesome. Ah, uh, you missed it. What? Oh, just, um, the character did a spin. It, it was like a cool spin. It was the whole reason I was showing it to you, but yeah, it was, it was just kind of cool. Remember Moss Eisley? Remember the Rancor? Remember? Remember Sand People? Remember the Cantina? Remember the... What'd you bring me?